Welcome back to the table. <laughs> We're here. It's time for some more Chromagill and Friends mis Murder Mystery Hour. Hey, wait. Chromagill, where are you? <laughs> I'm, right, I'm right over here. The 13 uh, ghosts of Chromagill. Zoinks. Oh, oh man. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jinkies. And all of them are Morgan. Yeah, they're just Morgan. Oh, Morgan's they're the just... Boo Brothers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, all of them just wrapped oh into one. Oh my god, it, it, it's true. Oh fuck. All right, well, fan artists, you know what to do for this week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's, 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 bring out, let's bring out that 1980s gem. Oh, Hanna Barbera, the apocalypse of animation. So say me, not not anyone else, <laughs> just me, because I'm a curmudgeon. That's fine. That's I'm fine. a curmudgeon. But you're our curmudgeon. Mm. All right, so we got a crew member aboard this ship that's just fucking dead. Shot in the face? Yep. Hmm. Uh, from the looks of it, the we oh, have a crew face. member that fell off the side of the boat because the murder weapon was a pistol and there was blood seeping from their face. Mm. Mm hmm. And we found, let me see, I, I have the suspect list here. Those Good. that actually had guns among them, uh, uh, the male gnome Marlo Deeproot. Mm -hmm. We also had Teddy Slorg, who's a weapons, you know, entrepreneur. Weapons manufacturer he, man he, he for the bought, navy. He bought one of the uh, the higher suites. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's he's one of the, he's one of the bougie he's, boys. Yeah, rich folk. Uh, Cleva had a gun, despite the fact that she is very proficient with an axe. Mm -hmm. uh, that was more for sentiment, but the fact that she still had a gun made her a suspect. Yep. Yep. Then there is uh, the water genasi Nelda Feyrun, uh, Feyloon. Yep. Uh, the uh, Wake tried talking to them. They, you know what? I, Wake. I, 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 I don't think he wants an innocent person to hang, but they did not seem like the nicest person in the world. Uh, <laughs> Perhaps not guilty well, of this crime. When she was roused from her slumber and just was like, you're on trial for murder. Yeah. What the fuck? And of course, Misha, who, maybe she did it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't rule it out. But you also saying. can't rule out the fact that every single crewmate aboard the ship had, had a gun. Also has a yep. gun. And who knows what mysteries will unfurl as we continue. Well, <clears throat> at this point, you guys were given your couple of minutes of peace away uh, as the guards kind of like are now coming down in bulk. Uh, everyone else who, uh, everyone else on the ship has pretty much been quarantined to not go up topside. So you guys are still free to roam the uh, first floor and the second floor deck. Uh, you cannot go, uh, as of right now, the captain and the crew are now taking in testimony a little bit more further with the prime suspect, so you cannot speak to them at this point. It's not like I'm not exactly like a detective or anything, but I feel like... I, I look over at the crew and... I don't know if they have the soundest judgment. Well, honestly, who knows? Uh, uh, <laughs> Valtara kind of like looks over to the crew and looks back to you. I don't want to sound belligerent when I speak ill of their Yeah, their no, tattoos. I was I, th th those things, they're just like there. I mean, the yith are actually something that exists. I read the stories and their sound scientific documented evidence that she like shows up a picture of what looks like a flying spaghetti monster made out of jello. But do these yith use guns? <laughs> I don't Maybe. Th nothing in the book says that they use guns. They're creatures from the abyss. They're... But nothing says they don't. I'm just saying that perhaps... You just watch as, like, me, uh, Valtar kind of just, like, closes the book and then looks at you and just goes, fuck, that's so stupid, but he's not wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh. just, just throwing that out there. I just want to be sure we're covering all of our, what are those things you call them, bases. Well, the, it says in the book that the Yith haven't made a physical appearance to anyone on the surface for at least 900 to 1,000 years. Back that's... then, did we even know what guns look but, like? But... <clears throat> They can, uh, to those who actually pray to the Yith, they actually can speak to it. And they usually, usually it's sailors who speak to them for guidance in traveling out in the open waters. Man, whoever wrote all this stuff down really knew their Yith. <laughs> I don't even think, I didn't, it, that, why, is, why is everybody looking at me like that? It's, I, it's not even a, if it was a pun, it's not a good one and does I'll not deserve it. that. Shut up, <laughs> don't encourage him. <laughs> all I'm saying is, if so many people have guns. Why do we? Why do we give them to so many people on this boat? If this was going to be a problem, we should have kept them all in one place. I mean, everybody should just learn how to catch a bullet, really. That would also be helpful. Yeah. Teach me. I mean, they. they I. I. I learned yes, pretty Yes. Teach. Young teach. Age. The, teach the <laughs> Mike it in how to be a monk. <laughs> 
I, I am currently accepting <laughs> students. <laughs> just, a, just a warning, my dexterity is 10. Wake would totally open like one of those strip mall taekwondo joints. Oh, <laughs> like Rex Kwondo. Karate yeah, right. dance fight. Welcome to Wake Kwondo, where I'm going to teach you to kick ass. <laughs> First step, catch a bullet. That's how you get your blue belt. Bang! <laughs> Ow. Everybody ends up with a red belt. I'm not good at it. I have to tell you, there's a little bit of a waiver you have to sign. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> So, like I said, at this point, uh, you're welcome to speak to anyone else on the ship uh, who is not being interrogated by the crew at this point. Uh, the captain is not to be found, though. The captain is uh, the captain and the first mate are upstairs manning the ship to actually, you know, sail it over towards the shore. A likely story. The ship is moving. You win this round, Captain. <laughs> 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 I remember, <laughs> I remember you saying something about uh, the the Mr. Deep Root uh, asking Bliss to open the door for them to, to to let everybody out of the of their quarters after they were supposed to be inside. Have we spoken with her? No, uh, we haven't. Not yet. Uh, I just finished speaking to the water lady over there. She's pleasant. Well, that's nice. It's good that there's other pleasant people on this ship. Perhaps yep. I'll introduce myself Valtara to Valtara being the only one who's high enough to actually pat you on the head does so. <laughs> yeah. Like a hollow, like a Tycho drum <laughs> sound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the song's getting faster. <laughs> Please don't use my head like that. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps my brain. He's the Donkey Kong controller. <laughs> and then like all the fucking spores are flying out. Oh no. Who knows what effects they'll have. Which effects were they? I don't know. Roll a 1d4 and we'll find right. out. Uh, so, meta talk. You guys talked to uh, Marlo at the yep. end, right? I went and talked to Nelda. Uh, we had not gone and spoken to Bliss, who I think, uh, yeah, she's hang- she's not <clears throat> one of the suspects. So. Yeah. But she's not with the suspects. She is a potential as far, witness. As far as we're aware, she is a bard, and they do have the ability to convince people to do things mm. that they don't want to. Yep. Yeah, worst worst and, case and scenario. Based on, her, she based on least... what she told you, if anyone wants to roll an Arcana check to get be if they remember their verses Give in magic, it. let's go, stupid wake. Give it a try. Hold on. Eighteen. Four, Fourteen. Twelve. All of you get a pretty okay idea that that was a knock spell. Based on the, how she said she described how the magic worked and how she opened the door, it was a knock spell. Hmm. Well, should we go uh, maybe see if she heard anything or saw anything that night? <clears throat> yeah, Perhaps. that wouldn't be a bad idea. She was closer to the top here. I feel right. like she would be she would be the other person who might have seen something out of everyone we know. All right. At this point, you uh, you head over and talk to Bliss, who is not keeping a fair distance away from the crime scene at this point. She's kind of just like sitting on a box, strumming her lute. Uh, she sees you guys walk over. And she just like shrugs. She like blows a bang of hair away from her face and just goes, "Some night, huh?" Yeah, quite mm-hmm. eventful. Will you write a song about it? Mm, maybe. Depends on how it turns out, I guess, huh? I'd rather wait till the mystery solved to figure it out. Fair enough. So, you were up here <laughs> while all that was going on. You were the one that you know let everybody out of that room, right? Well, the poor guy was a mess. He needed some fresh air. Yeah. Uh, did you hear anything after the fact? I mean, as far as I'm aware, nobody's even really talked about the gunshot. Not that I know of. Uh, the last thing I did was open the door and then stayed inside. If he was going to get caught, I wasn't going to be the one who was going to get stuck with that problem. I'm going to insight that. Go for it. Uh, my insight is 22. 22. She's fairly truthful about that. There's there's no ill will about that. She's just like, yeah, I look, the poor guy was suffocating. He needed some air, but... Curfew th- was curfew. Yeah, curfew was curfew, and I was not going to get busted. Yep, fair enough. Hmm. Well. Uh, it's well ma- I, I just find it weird that like nobody heard anything, especially people around here. I well, mean, I got, I got woken up because that body smacked into the, my window. Well, I... Th- I feel like the entire time we've all been having to deal with those things as the isopod iso kind of just like the, well, fuck. The <laughs> skitters the around. Yeah, the little, the little isopod creature starts to skitter around. The, the rat-shaped, the rat-sized bugs. 
Hmm. Our, our big ship cockroaches. That yep. and that damn anchor. <clears throat> Clang. If anything, I kept hearing the anchor keep sl- uh, slapping to the side of the ship. It was uh, it was in a monotone. Uh, it was in a metronome like fashion, and it kept clanking every five seconds. Hmm. That sounds like a clue. Oh. Add that to my Phoenix Wright inventory. <laughs> I keep trying to think of like. And then Gumshoe busted. Hey, pals, what's going on? Oh, good. We're in one of those later games where he likes us. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting. I'll come back. <laughs> hmm. Gumshoe, you ate the murder evidence. I was hungry. I'm still new at gathering what people mean by what their faces tell you, but when you left Mr. Deep Root out, did he seem intending to kill? Did I think he was trying to kill someone? Did just I know you let him out because you said he was suffocating. Does that mean wanted to murder? I'm I'm still trying gonna, to figure all of this out. Uh with a nat 20, she like strums on her guitar just like you see her in a contemplative thought just like trying to piece everything back together. I can't say that he <clears throat> he was angry at people, but he I don't feel like he had the intent to murder. He just needed to get some fresh air with all the well, with every with all the bodies in count in here, it was kind of suffocating. It's stifling. Well, yeah. he, well, here's the thing. He wanted to open the door for the child, not him. I guess so. The only thing I remember is that he asked me to open the door. He knew I had the spells to do so. So, hmm. for twenty gold, I opened it up for him. Do you guys have a window back there, like in that room? Indeed. Does that one open? The one on the bottom doesn't. She, like, points over to the uh, window. Roll an investigation check, all of you. Six. Uh, Damn it. 14. That's a four, gentlemen. Hey. Uh, they are bolted fairly tightly with some hard, hard nails. Oh, that definitely hasn't been opened recently at the very least. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could still look back into the quarters if you want to see if that one's open, but last I remember, no one... I remember uh, I remember the Goliath actually trying to open up a window before. Well, I slipped out of... I, <clears throat> I mean, uh, <clears throat> There's no crew around, right? Sometimes my friend here has Valtara to clear his turns throat. and looks at you. Busted. Shut <clears throat> up. I'm going to do like a quick look around to make sure like the crew isn't actively by me. <laughs> I'll roll for I'll roll some for them. Okay. You are lucky they are like so far away. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're dealing with a murder case. Yeah, they're dealing with a murder case. They didn't hear that, but you know who did hear that? Who? The priest. Who's who's like a couple of feet away? Hey, Brisk Elpy. Shark teeth smile. <laughs> Uh. Yeah, let's just say not. All, let, let's, let's just say not all of these windows are locked. Anyway, I learned. <clears throat> well, that all depends. You could give yourself an alibi if the placement of the windows nowhere by, back here. Well, it was also in the middle of the day when I happened to do it. I mean, so the time of the crime, you were asleep and and. Yeah, and, no, I, I was the first guy to see the body, other than the person that actually killed them. <laughs> I didn't do it. <laughs> Valtar is just like... Morgan, how long have you known this Wake character? <laughs> Val, Valtar kind of just like puts your hand, on, your hand on your shoulder for a quick second. It's just like, shh, 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 shh. Just, just stop. All right, just want that to be clear, though, that it's a matter of... Shh, shh, and in case there's any okay. suspicion okay. on me, for some reason, anytime I communicate, it tells to everyone. So, you know, no secrets here. <laughs> Yeah, I sort of broadcast my feelings. Twitter in a physical form. Have you seen anything, like, suspicious around here, though? Just anything that might pop out or seem odd. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, Well, I did hear something. I heard something over by the staircase that leads down to the second floor. When Mm. I opened up the door, I thought it was just another one of those little bug things skittering around. But through the corner of my eye, I could have swore I saw a silhouette. So maybe we have a stowaway here. <gasps> maybe we should go check that out before uh, before the crew gets to I it. I will say least. this, though. I know this whole entire thing is a shipping vessel and whatnot, but 
I don't know. Every time I've investigated, not investigated, every time I've moved over towards the front of the ship and back here, the smell of, like, cod or some kind of fish is stronger. <laughs> Wake sniffs himself. <laughs> not me. Well, we are where, on the ocean where fish live. Indeed, but... So, I, I've, I've eaten my fair share of fish before, and it's fresh water. When you go over to the front, it's more sea air. Hmm. hmm. Perhaps someone's just making you meals? Know, now that you mention that, I remember on our way up top, I could have sworn I saw something with the other crates. Well, that's a good place to go check. Maybe, uh, maybe whatever it is hasn't left. Let's get right. moving. We head in the direction of the suspicious crates the near, the, near the uh, stairs. Okay. Uh, at this point, you guys head downstairs. The crew, like the crew, is watching you, but they allow you. They know, like, if as long as you're not heading towards the upstairs that lead to the surface, you're fine. Uh, Morgan, you take everyone to the middle section of the boat where last you saw two large crates that looked like they were on those rotation cuffs, like you, like back behind your where you guys slept. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much the one where Valtar kind of like sat in a crate and Chromagill was right next to. Uh, those kind of crates are there. Uh, I need everyone to roll me a perception check real quick. What do my fish eyes see? 19. 19? With a 21 on the wake fish eyes. 19 as well. Uh... Just like Bliss said, the smell of freshwater fish is more strong over here. Mm. I mean, not really my style, but... I can't really smell. What the fuck is that? That was coming from one of the boxes. Wake's gonna go and uh, basically jump on top of the box to look behind it. The moment you jump on top of the box, something goes silent inside of it. There's something in the box. Poke it with your spear. The box, uh, the box does open from the top, but you'd have to get off it or find some way to jar it open. All right, I'm going uh, to do. Oh, I have a plan. He can't hear me because I haven't s thrown my spores at him, so he has no idea what I'm saying to you. Just open the lid a little bit. I'm going to put some pacifying spores in there. Whatever's inside is going to fall asleep. All right. Uh. Actually, are there any, like, knot holes in the top of the... Uh, there are two, but they're loose. Like, it's supposed to be, like... You know, like, how a, lo a metal lock flops on top of a, a latch? Mm -hmm. The knots were used to make the latch. Hmm. So these boxes were kind of, like, cobbled together at the last minute, but they're still sturdy enough to hold something in it. All right, so I point to the holes that you could probably just pour your spores mm -hmm. through. Okay. I start sending pacifying spores into this box. Uh, I can choose a, choose a space within five feet to uh, fill with spores. Uh, creatures within have to make a con save. If okay. there's something in there. Assuming well, there is. Let's see. Well, let me, see. Let me roll for this creature. Mm -hmm. What's your DC? 11. Huh. <clears throat> it looks... Wait a minute. Hold on. Fuck, um, let me check my notes. Good job. Uh, got him. I haven't used pacifying spores, I think, in the way it's been intended yet, so I decided <laughs> I'd do something yeah, that actually but... worked. <laughs> do we just hear a... Did I pump? <laughs> no, you hear, you hear a groaning noise, and then the spores start trickling back out. Something is very angry on the inside. I've never seen this happen before. We may want to be on our guard. Something is repelling my spores. All right, well, Wake's, shit. Wake's going to do a backflip off the top and like kind of pop the box open with his spear on the way down. Just hold it ready. Someone screams on the inside as you lift it open. And you are now looking at a disheveled man who looks like he's wearing a box over his head. Uh, a bag over his head. The hell? What is, what is this thing? Hello? The, ba the bag is kind of like covering the creature so you can't like shuffle like like you'd have to actually pull it away to get it it's at this point where it. we should yeah at this point we should uh come along in we should reveal this character as wake's spear the tip of his spear kind of just like jabs the bag and pulls it back oh, oh. 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 Ah, pull the bag back oh it's hideous <laughs> what the hell is that you sons of <laughs> 
I am like you say he looks disheveled, but yeah, because uh, the face looks familiar, but half his half his hair is missing, like it's been burnt off. I am going to roll a quick intelligence check to see if I can yeah. decipher who this is. I smell like crap. Oh yeah, that's a seventeen. I'm just going. Yeah, that that from two months ago. That's AJ. What are? Hold on, I know this guy. <laughs> yeah, like oh, oh, hold on. Do I know this guy? Chrome <laughs> uh, well, McGill puts Chrome McGill puts his giant mace back now. <laughs> And you also see a giant, like, purple triceratops looking down at you from the crate. What the f right. fuck is going on right now? <laughs> right, Can't you leave a man to sleep, why don't you? So I think he might have, uh, it, uh, you still got that gun, right? Who are you exactly? Oh, uh, we met a few months back at a zoo. <gasps> the zoo guys! Yeah. Yeah, the other two look way different now. What happened? One got buffer and one... One's a yeah, just uh, it's 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 a long long story. Evidently, it really um. <coughs> this is uh. Really is what the hell is? So you can I help you? Yeah, around you are around your feet are a bunch of spores because you felt something trickle on top of you, and that was you using your prestidigitation to push it away. Ah, there we go. <laughs> can I help you? I, j j I don't know actually. What what's. I mean, obviously, Ooh. I know what brought you here. I poured it in here, like, I think an hour ago. I was just going to get a goddamn nap because there was nothing nearby. And you come in here, you knock open my box. A uh, big mushroom walks up to you. <laughs> just <laughs> and a cloud of... What <laughs> the actual shit is going on? <laughs> Hello, my name is Chromagill. You can now hear me in your mind because of my teleport the telepathic spores. Ah! <laughs> there are now... Val, the, the giant... The giant triceratops... You hear like a woman's voice coming from this thing as it covers your mouth. No, shut up! <laughs> and you see, and you see good old AJ pull out his gun and like point it at. Hey, that seems like something we could. Have you shot someone with that today? <laughs> <laughs> yesterday. Does that line up? Is that I don't really understand. Well, it was how... yesterday when I got there, but now it's today and then I'm here. It's different. Hemispheres are crazy. Um. Wake Valtara looks to you. The man, this crazy, disheveled, like, homeless elf is pointing a gun at me. Please tell me what's going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to hold my hand out and push the gun down. Uh, and he put, no, part, pulls no, it back just, up again? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, we no. only knew each other for like a day. We are way too familiar to be touching Look, my gun. Just, then stop pointing your gun at my people. All right. <laughs> so, somebody want to explain to me why you came on down here and... It's great seeing you and all that. Well, somebody... I don't normally see people twice, more than twice. We're looking me. for a murderer, and you have a murder weapon. It seemed like a good idea. Well, who, who got murdered? A uh, crewman upstairs fell in the water. Uh, I up. haven't killed a crewman in like two years, so yeah. Sounds good to me. Checks out. So obviously the your little spell curse brought you here. Like an hour ago, and you know, ended up in a box, smacked my head, and said, ah, screw it. I checked the... I checked my map. Do they know my thing? Did you tell them about me? Uh, no. So he's been cursed by, like, basically a time wizard. Mm -hmm. And yeah. now he has to travel around looking for some scavenger hunt items. 40 years. 40 years I've been on this hunt. Any 24, any 24 hours, I teleport to somewhere else. I'm going to be honest with you. Last couple times have been the ocean, which is actually really common for how much ocean there is on this world. There is a lot of ocean. So One usually... time I slept for 40 years. I can understand why this seems like a long time. Yeah, yeah, it really is. AJ, you know? as you're as you're like scruffing your hand through your face, you like kind of like scratch your ear. You feel mushrooms growing off the end of your ear. That's what the fuck? Don't, that, it's, it's don't how, pick it's it. How you can hear the, it. The, the moment Rose, you, you'll yep. get interrupt my signal. So the moment you the moment you scratch <laughs> off one end, you're now hearing only in your left ear. Ah, you're no, now only hearing his voice. That is ah, oh, damn, that's really annoying. Here, I'll fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got the balance right this time. <laughs> You're a frustrating person. What's your name again? Chromagill. I'm going to call you Homeless Elf. I am, a my, I am AJ. Arundel Jacander. Call me AJ for short. Doesn't matter what my elven name is. Nothing really matters anymore. I take it back. He's Noisy Elf. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you are? Gestures to the, the man with the mustache. I don't like this guy, Morgan. Shut up. Let me do the talking. He's got, he's got people in him. 
Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. That's cool. Yeah, everyone to each their own, right? Yeah. To each their own. Okay. Valtara is a strong Triceratops. She is powerful. Yeah. You know, has uh, AJ met Triceratops people? No, you you might you might have seen them, but you've never actually interacted with them. I have seen your kind at a distance. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, the moment that you actually feel a sense of, like, this unnerving dread being next to her as she looks down at you. They have an ability that their size actually invokes fear to those who are smaller than them. So he just lightly taps her on the belly. Intimidating, aren't you? <laughs> so anyway, sir, do you need me or can I go back to goddamn sleep? I mean, we're just trying to investigate a murder mystery here. If you got nothing better to do, you can... Well, what, well, what the hell happened? Like, so someone got shot, Yeah, right? somebody so... got shot up on the deck, and... Uh, so what did the crew do? Are they taking care of it? They're trying to. What are they doing? They... Well, they've rounded up everybody with a gun, and they're... Persecu- Except you! True. That's true. They are currently persecuting a gnome man. Oh, are they blaming any of the crew? No, but they all have guns, and I, I thought wouldn't that, that was be, wouldn't weird. that make more sense for it to be a crew member? See, do I you thought, know nothing of the uh, Do you know anything of the Yif? Roll a uh, <laughs> knowledge check, a history check. Do I know about the Yif? Okay. Says Valtara, by the that way. That is a is that a six or a nine? That's a nine. It's a nine and intelligence. My intelligence. Ooh, I have a plus three to my intelligence. So it's that a 12. is twelve. Twelve. Yeah, I get twelve. You've heard of them before, and you know that. Uh, yeah. Those who, like, all sea folk that want to communicate with the Yith have to etch a certain symbol onto their flesh. So it's kind of like this weird sea cult. It's <laughs> <laughs> a big guy. I, I've heard of them in, in the manner in which I've heard of the, the Triceratops people. You know, you're like, you hear about it, you're like, that's Well, cool. that's, that's all of the crew. I so. get the impression that if he had shot this person, he would have been caught. So I'm going to say this AJ fellow might be innocent. Uh... I need everyone to roll a perception check. Oh, son of a gun. AJ is currently shooting a man. 18 plus... That's 23. 19 for me. 14. 9. Everyone except for Chromagill hears the same. Shit, was that? that, that What are you all responding to? What was that? That was the same scratching noise that you thought was him. And it's like, co- it, and it's, it was coming from a crate? It was co- it's now coming from a crate behind you. Something's running away. I immediately swing around and pop open that next crate. Uh, how so? Well, <laughs> I'm probably just going to beat the shit out of it. Athletics. It's a 19 plus 4, so 23. You punch your hand through the top of the barrel. Jesus! Jesus. This seems like you a grabs, good way to get attention. You grab something and pull it back out. It's a bowler hat. Hmm. Flip it around. Looks good on you. Thanks. I jump over the box to try to see if I can find the thing that was scurrying away. Uh, are you, you're looking inside of it? Well, I'm going to jump over the box. Oh. So jump. I'm on top of it, basically. Ah, okay. Well, you are on top of the box, yeah. All right. So now I'm looking around. Did uh... Perception, I guess. Yeah, per- Look- uh, no investigation. Aha! Uh-huh. Shenanigans are crazy today. Into something. Investigation. That is an eleven. Eleven. You see what looks like a fish, uh, a fish scale tail, kind of just like swish around and try to hide back into the box where it where it would have ran away, but it scurried back inside of it. I'm going to sleight of hand try to like, you know, grab the cricket out of Master's palm, kind of thing. All right. Uh. Roll me a acrobatics. Acrobatics, okay. I will roll That's first. even better than my sleight of hand. I'll take it. And with a 21, 14 on the die. Something slaps your hand away. Stop it! That was an aquan, by the way. Uh, what? Hold on. <laughs> I speak this. Uh, in aquan, I reply. Oh, sorry. Can you, you give me my hat back? Uh... Yeah. You want to come Everyone out? watches as a hog in hand, reaches out and grabs the oh, hat oh, oh, and pulls oh, oh, it back I, in. I'm, I'm holding it out of reach. Uh, we can come out and talk come about it. Come on! Come on out, we can talk about it. Oh, fine. All right, look, fine. I'm sorry. You, like, you watch as the crate kind of like opens and out crawls one of the, uh, the dead shrimp, uh, fo- uh, one of the dead shrimp Sahagan. This ship is more crowded than we thought. It really is. I hand, yeah, I hand the, ha- so I hand the hat you, back was, over. It was you who was making all that noise. I thought someone was just running around in here. Uh, 
Well, yeah, I... I guess. I guess it was me. I mean, nah. you're not going to tell anyone, are you? I, I kind of just wanted to sit it out and wait till I get back to shore. Well, I mean, what are you, uh... Like, what? what's... Why are you here? <laughs> Do you have a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Best interrogation ever. <laughs> Do you have a gun? <laughs> that was my reaction, too, initially. I mean, yeah, I have a gun. He holds up a sawed-off shotgun. I flip the hat back over to his head. <laughs> see, we're all packing. AJ pulls out his gun. <laughs> I sees, man. You gotta, gotta do what you gotta do to survive. I don't know much about guns, but I don't think that's the kind of gun that shot the victim. No, there was a pistol. Like, do all the people on the <laughs> ship have pistols? Every single one? The crew does, but only a few of the passengers. Uh, Such as... So when is... So, like, not, not to take away from this murder mystery, you know, death is terrible. Oh, my God, what a horrible thing to happen. But, like, when is the <laughs> ship getting to where it is, or is this just gonna be one of those... It's one of those trips where I just nap the entire time. As far well, as I'm aware, we got a couple hours until we get to a shore where they're going to hang somebody. Yep. What, what, why are they going to shore to hang someone? They can hang someone on a ship. See, I'm, I'm curious about that. I think they need to do something by law of the land. Law of the sea is more vague. Uh, yes. Sea laws! Val Valtar will pretty much bring you up to speed. What is <laughs> happening is, is that this ship was a smuggling ship that was going to bring everyone on board over just outside the outskirts of uh, of the main city of uh, South Zealous. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, because of this murder mystery, or because of the murder, they're now completely turning the ship up north. Well, 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 I'm sorry, forgive, forgive me, but that's just weird. I mean, why not just go to the required location? I mean, it's a smuggling ship anyways. They don't really adhere to law. They're criminals anyways. Well, they're uh, trying to play that they're not smuggling. Uh, due it's to the fact front. that there, due, due to due to the fact that there was a quarantine in the previous city that everyone kind okay, of took the ship on. I'm gonna be angry with you guys. I've been around a lot. That sounds shady as hell. Like, why do you have to go to the shore? Wait, why would you deviate away from your trip that would take away? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Now I can't even sleep. Now well, I'm these, guys, these guys. This. These guys are all a little. Uh, I mean, they're all a little. Crazy. Why did you get some, on the ship with them? Because it's literally the only option. I mean, if you haven't noticed, the world's kind of gone to hell. I mean, you're you're literally half roasted. I, hey, I, hey, 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 hey. Sorry, hey. somebody was going to point it out. No, you know what happened? I am the you only wanna, one that knew you AJ previously. AJ points at his half burnt hair. It's like it's all simps. Like it looks like half of uh, Icarus from uh, from Hercules, Hercules the, the cartoon animated series. Okay. Like, you know what happened here? No, I don't. I got the goddamn fire orb. That's what the fuck happened right there. All right. You go as far as you need to to get your goals done. My list holds it up. And, it's almost done, and the last couple trips were a whole lot of nothing. The guys, you as he opens up the list, it rolls up and then goes across the floor. What are you looking for now? Uh, you know what? This like the last couple things are really hard here. Like, uh, like for example, like I'm so I can only locate items, but some things are difficult. Like a like a cy like a cyclops eye. I have to go find a cyclops, and like I'm not going to the underdog. Does, does it count if you poke out one of their eyes and then they only have one eye? Well, they only have one eye to begin with. That's why they're a Cyclops. Well, like. yeah, but if you take out one of their <laughs> eyes previously. I can't. I don't have the spell locate Cyclops, okay? I, I don't think a two-eyed creature losing an eye constitutes a Cyclops. Anyways, so I believe and like, that's just know, a one-eyed creature. Oh, and I also, have to, I also have to find the dagger of a betrayed man twice stolen. I don't know what that means. That's just a riddle. <laughs> that, 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 was, that, that was just a weird one. And this that, last one, this last one on top of the like, number one on this list of the most what uh -huh. the fuck I have to look for is the horn of a virgin. And suck you, Buster. <laughs> doesn't even exist. Val Valtara looks at you, and these are all things that exist on this planet. No, 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 no. Like, succubus has come, like, they, 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 like, but the items on yeah, the list. Do. Yeah, there are, I, I honestly believe that the god is just fucking with me. I think these are made up. I don't even think. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've been well, doing this for 40 do, years. Then, I've been doing this for 40 years. Then, then Valtar just looks left and right. Then, how do you know the curse is no longer in effect? Because every 24 hours, I keep porting away somewhere else. Well, I mean, what are the other effects of the curse apart from that? That's it. Every 24 hours, I disappear to somewhere else. That sounds fun. It's not. <laughs> oh. A lot of places on the world suck. Have you ever been to the Underdark? No. I, I have. <laughs> That's where the fun I live. just left my, my forest. Oh, yeah. You know what's in the Underdark? Lots of things with blades and legs. Creep, have, creepy ooh. crawlies the size... Of s I'm gonna of roll a chips. I'm gonna have Valtar roll a sleight of hand. I need you to roll me a perception check. Oh, 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 oh okay. Damn it, it's a two. 
Plus your wisdom. She rolled seven. She rolled mm. plus, plus your wisdom modifier. Oh, wisdom oh, modifier. oh, oh, you have. Oh, yeah. You plus have. seven. Okay, yeah. So I have seven. By one HP, you feel something prick you in the arm, and she pulls away a syringe, looking at your blood. What the? F hey! Hey! Oh, I think he was. She's a bit that. of a researcher. She likes to know things. Kind of know. Not again. Not no. No. I think this she wants all, to see this, if your blood will this teleport is all I with need. you. She like pockets. Well, you the want blood magical away. cursed blood? Yes. Why? Research. Ah, fuck. All right, but if it leads to anything on my list, I get it. You'll be the first one we call. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> we don't. I'll be on my. The Sahag is just like. So, for... am I okay now? Can I just go? I, oh, I, right. I, You're here. I, I just want to go back to sleep. Uh, yeah, you and me too, man. You know, I'm we tired. never. We never really figured out exactly why you were on this ship to begin with. Did uh, you stow away alone? Uh, funny story. Even yeah. I don't know how I got on this ship. Is he cursed too? Did you pet? Did you make fun of a divination, Azimar? No, I just remember I got really wasted at a bar. I want to do insight. Go for it. Shit, that's. 12. I'm gonna do insight as well. That's a twelve. That is a. Oh my god, I'm used to this being all done automatically. For me. <laughs> uh, let's roll twenty. <laughs> Was the last time I'll, 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 I'll drop dice my insight. Target. Never mind. Natural one. Wake still pre preoccupied with <laughs> ten. Virgin succubus. Ten, one, twelve. You want to help? <laughs> yes, I'll give it. All a right, shot. there. That, that perceptive. Uh, that perceptive. Yeah, my the mushroom. <laughs> yeah, the only thing on my face are my eyes. <laughs> And then that's what it is! Well, and now, they're both looking square at this guy. Okay, Boom. so <laughs> the word drunk fills your mind. I the, remember for drunk. The, for the first time, <laughs> yeah, for the first time in your life, you've experienced what being drunk is not a few out like a couple of days ago. And for some reason you, I forgive this man of you, whatever. You've been falls able to You've been able to completely pin down what makes a man drunk and what happens in between. And AJ, AJ just un AJ goes into his bag, pulls out this giant flask. Hey, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get through the day, okay? So no one blaming no one, all That's right? That's a good fire whiskey you got there. Oh, so. absolutely. It's not one of the items you needed, was it? Probably. Uh, no, this is, a separate, this is a different one. I stole it from a captain. <laughs> not this one, a different one. Hmm. Uh... So, based on his insight, he doesn't know where the fuck he is, and he doesn't know what's going on. He just tried to lay low. Uh, We've been at sea for a few days. How have you survived? Oh, well, I mean, I've just been using one of the hatches to go out to uh, out into the water, at least swim a little bit, and then get rehydrate oh my myself. Oh, God, where are those? I've needed that. What? The swimming. I've needed that. Oh, well, uh, yeah, like I said, one of the windows was open, so I was able to go out into the water. Which one? One upstairs on the second on the first floor. Oh yeah, that's the one I found. Hmm. There is a, but I will say this though: the ship's not really all that well put together. There's a couple of holes at the bottom of it. That's fun to know. Wait, what? That's that... usually a bad thing for a well, ship. Well, I mean, they, as long as the bottom wait, are, deck are, is sealed. Aren't they, aren't they weird smuggler cultists? Like, and this is a de and Valtara looks at you, and this is a decommissioned Vorpal ship. This used to be a naval ship. Okay, yeah, the, uh, so. So great service you guys hired. I just ended up here accidentally, and I'm already finding. Well, this. I mean, I already want my money back. We we ended up here accidentally too. I just like the ocean's a little too dangerous these days. I mean, you uh, you want to roll? Se a you've seen the fire in the sky with the death of all the angels, right? Roll a history check. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, oh, loud man. elf. <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, that's a good one. Yeah, that is. Uh, was that was that uh, history? Yeah, yeah. That is twenty one. Uh, with that. Uh, you remember one day, like two months ago, that the sky turned completely red, but based on the location that you were in, you were on the island of Gast Isle at that point. You were in a city in Gast... You were on a uh, port town in Gast Isle, and the sky turned red far off into the distance. So I was very far away from it? Yeah. But you do remember that was a thing. Oh, yeah, that, that thing. Everyone's been really stressed since that happened. Well, uh... It's kind, you of, also the fall remember, of, a, kind yeah. of the fall of an empire. You also remember that uh, there was a lot of people who were celebrating on Gast Isle. Gast Isle is full of tieflings, by the way. So they were all really excited about something, uh, about someone going over towards another kingdom to take it over. So you probably just missed that Virgin Succubus. <laughs> I think I missed that Virgin Succubus like five, by like a day. Damn it! <laughs> Motherfuck! Uh, can't exist. It can't. Okay. So yeah. you you were also brought up to speed that 
uh, La Seranus is now experiencing its second onrush. There are demons taking over the island. Oh, yeah, take it over the continent. Uh, I tried to swim out that way, and there's a lot of things coming up from the depths that just were either dormant or not there before. There's nothing scarier than dark water. You never know what's right beneath your feet. I mean, normally I can see through that pretty fine, and I, I don't know. I've, oh. I've, I've swum pretty far down and before. The no, you looks, don't have to tell me about the terrors of the deep. The Sahagan looks to you and just goes, well, that's also kind of the reason why I've been attached to the ship. Have you not seen what's down there? No. I mean, I have. Have I, you ever seen I, a, hold, I hold up my hand with the big scar on it. Do you know what a gulper eel is? Yep. <laughs> AJ knows what... Yeah. <laughs> I uh, do not. I'm, I'm guessing this is a nature Nature roll. with Nature with advantage for you. Yeah, sea creatures. It's an 11 or a... Three. So nature, that is a 10. Uh, you know that kind of <laughs> being you get the idea that like a gulper eel is maybe an eel with a giant mouth and you've seen those before I've killed a few eels like Ma big ones <laughs> so think that but the size of a ship that's in that's god damn these things are so fucking big big mouthy boys it's a lot of ocean we're out in the, we're out in the really middle of the open ocean, ocean heading towards the shore I don't get why they're still going against the shore. It's weird. Let's go talk to the captain. Can I go talk to the captain? I, I think he's up top steering the ship. And and why, did he not be... train someone else to do that? I have a feeling if you go up deck and wave your gun around, you'll be talking to the captain very quickly. Good, I oh, talk. that's a good point. Good, I want to talk there's to him. No, there's no way he could actually be arrested forever because he'll just be teleported. <laughs> exactly. That's true. I can go... You're I... kind of the premier prisoner. This if is they, actually We great. can just no. talk to them and schedule your execution for tomorrow and you'll be fine. This is fantastic. <laughs> you know, true story, Kuromik. I've done that a couple times. Well, hey! Oh, what are you gonna do? I stole this thing. You caught me. Oh, I only wish to hold it as I die. That got him one time. Good shit. But anyways, for real though, this is sound sketch as fuck. Yeah, let's just. Uh, because there's also one other thing that you, they didn't catch you, and you know about this because you've been around the canal a couple of times. This ship is heading towards the uh, Emerald Canal, which is the connection of the north and the south, and the north is where the invasion has happened. Yeah, wait, wait, hang on. You said it was going up in the north? The, the it's heading towards the, uh, it's, the it's south. The, this is yeah, the heading, Emerald Canal? Yeah, we're heading towards the Emerald Canal so we can get... Why are you going towards where all the demons are coming? Well, I... Maybe we can help. Well, no, they, they're on their way to South Zealous. The ship is turning around and heading towards a shore near the canal. Wait, that... That sounds even more dangerous. So. Yo, yo, like, I'm going to be gone here in, like, 23 hours, but you guys will straight up. This sounds bad. This wow. sounds really bad. I don't... Well, hopefully, if we can get what we're doing done we can no, maybe turn the tide of this war positivity is a big thing around these parts aj and you seem to be lacking it we're going to teach you about that i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. we're all here to help each other i want to bring balance and restore nature and have everything be as it was you are a precious creature please never change i won't <laughs> i've been this way for over a thousand years <laughs> Wake turns back to the saga. Also, sorry, uh, it's been a hectic little time. Uh, I'm Wake, by the way. Cal. Cal. Cal, the Sahagan stowaway. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can tell you at least whatever I know. I mean, as long as you just keep me out of this. So just, just listen. I know I didn't kill anyone because I've been trying to keep myself out of here. I've just been. Sitting in a box, eating food, making sure no one comes near me. I've been kind of like doing as much as I possibly hey. could to keep things away from me. Hey, quick question. If I have the ability to locate object, do I have to specifically know what object I want to locate? Or can I look for a gun that's been recently fired? Uh, you'd have to know the, uh, you'd have to know what the object looks like. Oh, damn. Okay. All right, no worries. That's fine. Hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, you, you mentioned something about holes on the bottom of the ship. Is there anything in them? <clears throat> yeah, there's a couple of compartments. Some of them actually lead up towards this floor. There's a little bit of a staircase. It's like a crawl space, sort it's a of. Smuggler ship. It's gonna be like secret holes everywhere. If you were smuggling, would you be able to point out exactly where on this floor that these stairs are supposed to lead? I unfortunately didn't go up the stairs, friend. I only went up through the porthole when I got a chance to sneak in. I know there are there. I know there is a compartment that leads to a small staircase, but I don't know where exactly that is. Well, we have all two I do all I do know is that it's somewhere on this floor. Well, we have two options here. We can uh, span this floor and try to search for that. Maybe our answer will find itself down there, or alternately, I can dive into the water and swim up it. Don't get eaten by a giant eel. 
I would have to eat me first. You only got one prop. Valtar looks at you. We only got one problem with that. They're covering the front of the. They're covering the entire front of the next floor, and that leads to upstairs, and that's where that window is. So we'd need a distraction. I can do that. He can do that. Absolutely. What do you need? I'm bored as shit, dude. I thought I was gonna get a bunch of sleep on this ship trip, but now I just feel like this <laughs> this boat's going somewhere weird. Yeah, that all sounds fishy to me. And no offense. It, it points at the fish person. Yeah, Saga just goes. Eh, sure, <laughs> both of us like untaken. Heard a million of it. <laughs> heard it a million times. All right. Uh, okay. Cool. I can go making this distraction. What, what, I what? mean, just the, just the fact that you're a stowaway would probably be uh, good Ooh, enough. Really. Good. Good. Should I take someone? Kid, kidnap? Should I kidnap someone? Faltar's like, what? No. Why not? I mean, it would definitely cause a distraction. It yeah. would cause a distraction, but what if I admit to the crime? That'd be wild. That would make our search perhaps a little bit either more difficult or significantly easier. Perhaps the guilty party would come forth to, to claim their to claim their work. Hmm. Or maybe they'd. You know what? If you gauge the crowd when he does that, you'd probably be able to figure out a little bit easier, like which one is. All right. Okay. More so, by someone's it. response might make sense. I probably shouldn't be the one looking for it, considering I've only recently learned what facial expressions mean. And I can't be looking for it because I'm going to be diving into the water while everybody's confused. All oh. right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go upstairs. One second. I cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> hey, where'd he go? Yeah, you can still you can still <laughs> hear his breath in your teleportation. <laughs> Oh, there he is! I'm gonna. I'm. I'm, I'm just gonna follow the sound of the wheezing footsteps. <laughs> Opens up the door. Uh, you're. You're on now a second floor. It's pretty much the same thing. Like basically, I should describe what's going on for you for the scene for your sake anyway. <laughs> okay. You are on a second floor of the second deck of a ship. Uh, you are still below deck. Uh, this deck has a giant wall of goods. This is a sloop, so this means this is a giant like shipping vessel. Okay. Uh, there are crates all over the place. Uh, currently, in the open galley part of the ship, there is a bunch of folks who are being interrogated by the crew, who are, uh, I should explain this to you. Get ready, because... Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Sorry. Uh, here we go. We have... <coughs> we have one dwarf. Uh, we have one dwarf. Uh, they're all, by the way, they're all wearing, like, like... Water, like the water, like cokes and everything, uh, cloaks and everything, the stuff that like prevents water from getting on them. So, yeah. uh, like they're they're not really easy to see, but you can see their face, you can see their body language. They're kind of like hunched over and like talking to the crew, uh, talk and talking to everyone else. There's a dwarf, there's a kobold, and there's a human. And they're being interrogated. No, they are interrogating other people. I These see. are all my crew notes. Oh, thank you so much. They're probably more. Ah, they don't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but there are a few folks who are not a part of the interrogation, but there are a few who are in part of the interrogation, including a human, a female tabaxi, a female water genasi, and a gnome. Okay, let me look at some of my spells here. What can I... Uh, I'm, I'm going to, like, stand close to AJ and just try to, like, whisper before we get into earshot of everybody else. Do you have anything that might make it look like I'm still standing where I was standing before I jump... Like, after I jump out the window? Can Would minor illusion work for him? Uh, it's a bit too a bit too vague. Uh, minor illusion might. I it, mean, it's not silent. It, it's hmm. not silent image. Uh, minor minor illusion is unfortunately you can't make a person. You can make a like an object. Uh, yeah, that's what about a cantrip, right? ma What about major image? Major that image would do it. Okay. That would You'd do be it. able to smell me. I don't. I don't have that one. But he does. Yup. Cool. All right. He's so, just here uh, for whisper. Wait, Wake is going to wait for the distraction for everybody to like turn their attention away as he backs up and just kind of stands next to the open window. Okay, so well, you're not, you're nowhere near the open window at this point. It is a there is a there is a 120 foot uh, walk over towards the window. You can use boxes as a stealth check. Oh, I was just like, I, well, no, I, and like as they're distracted, you could use that. Okay. <laughs> but now we need AJ to figure out, we need him to f tell us what the distraction will be. Well, I figured the time to jump out the window would be the distraction. I need to get to the window mm. first. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'll try to stealth my way over to that window first. Or just ma nonchalantly. Do, do, do. Okay. You get Stand to a with my back to you it. You get to a certain point. You get to 60 feet before the crew now actually stops and looks towards you. So where are you going? I just wanted to get some fresh air. It's been a long night you know that window over there the uh the one kobold kind of like takes it takes his gun like kind of like pushes you in the knees to step back 
I'll kind Ow, of, my I, shins. AJ, AJ whispers in his ear, Good, don't let him disappear. Who's who's he saying this into? The He's... kobold who just shoved him. <laughs> AJ, AJ's down on his just on his hindquarters, whispering invisibly. Good, do that. Just on his haunches. Okay, did you feel, I need did you. you feel, did you feel a breeze? I Way need cool you. Concur. <laughs> I need you to roll me a persuasion versus his versus his intelligence. For I'm going now. to. Uh, can I uh, give him advantage by my assisting? Like, uh, how would you assist? Because if you, I, I literally just said, "Do you feel a breeze just now?" As if like we're being haunted. <laughs> uh, that's a little too. That's a little too out there for that to work for me, unfortunately. Oh, okay. That is eleven. Eleven. An intimidation. I've seen ghosts before. The kobold turns around. He doesn't see you. He doesn't see you, but he goes, what's that? The god you worship. <laughs> Seriously, I'm starting to get goosebumps. What's happening? <laughs> he like rubs the side of his chin. He shakes his head no and turns and looks back to wake and like points his gun at him. Stand behind, go behind. I just wanted some air, man. Like... All right, he turns around. He tries to swing the butt of his gun in your direction. Roll a dexterity check. Okay, dexterity I, save. I, 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 ma I matrix. I... I mean, you you may matrix or... Oh, okay. Seven. Hold on. I will attempt to give him advantage with this one by bumping his shoulder as he's making that swing. Okay. Roll, uh, roll like, with advantage. Because I, like, I am like, oh, fuck, he's attacking me. Yeah. You got me up from a seven, Nick. You got me up to an eight. Thank I'm you. doing what I can. <laughs> At this point, the kobold is now like flailing, and you actually push him away. He doesn't attack him, so he just misses him. Whoa! So you are still invisible at this point. However, now you have the dwarf and the human coming over trying to see what the problem is. Uh, this has gotten a lot worse for me. <laughs> and now AJ goes up. To the human's ear, the kobold knows that the god is risen <laughs> in his ear. Why is everybody swinging at me? Roll a roll a deception. <laughs> I am a paying customer here. Funny what bitch, this rolls are so bad. It was a three. Oh my god. This is what happens when you get to use my dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Do you want one of mine? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I take his broken dice. No, no, I, I keep <laughs> that one. I did roll a three. So, uh, what was my. I'm oh, sorry. I'm always forgetting. Deception. Good. Charisma up near the top here. Oh, don't fucking worry about it because he rolled the nat one. Natural wonders. Yeah, there we go. He's part of the crew. That's good. Uh, he turns and looks over at the kobold <laughs> and he like rubs his chin where the tattoo is of the yith sign. <laughs> and he like pulls the kobold to the side and starts like talking to him in some weird primordial language. <laughs> Look, I just wanted some fresh air. You guys clearly have a lot on your mind right now. AJ goes up to the dwarf. What are they talking about? About how you do not believe in us. Deception. <laughs> yeah! That is, an, that is a 21. The dwarf turns and converses with the other two. <laughs> I'm just gonna go get some air. I'm just, I'm just like slowly backing up. Just like, you guys clearly got something going on. Stealth. <laughs> Is a natural twenty. Oh, baby! Nice. Into the bushes, <laughs> like, into the crates. Uh, so you stealth your way over. Uh, with your move speed, you're able to make it to the window. All right. I'm guessing it's. It, I should probably pop a major image now. For you. Yeah, since uh, since I'm now properly hidden by the window. Okay. Whoop. I drop out the window. There is now a. Uh, there's now a doodle wake standing there. <laughs> Yeah, hi, me, noi, 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 Look, I'm a soldier, not a fucking artist. Noi, me, noi, noi. I think it looks good, Morgan. Shut up. Noi, me, noi, noi, Morgan. I don't know about that, Morgan. Uh, all right. So no, now I need you to roll me a persuasion check for them to actually continue with this. Oh, thank God, it's a charisma thingy. Natural 20. Oh, hey! Hey! That's good. Back All right, back so now I need you to make this. the best doodle wake impression possible. I told you to stand behind. Look, I'm just trying to get some air, okay? Noi, noi, noi. 
Noi, 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 noi. I need fresh air. Noi, 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 noi. Get behind the line. Noi, 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 noi. Wanders back. Can I at least just stand here? I'm tired. Noi, noi, noi. Yep. So you're you're fucking just having a conversation with the dwarf now with with fake wake. Fake wake. Uh, you dive into the water. Ploosh. Yeah, just I do the full. Wee. All right, I need you to roll me a perception check. Are you doing a back? Are you doing a back paddle? Cue, or? cue the uh, yeah. cue the Donkey Kong underwater music. Oh. Mm. Uh, perception, you said. Yeah. As a fifteen. I do drugs to that song. <laughs> you're, in I think ja- you're in Vancouver. You're allowed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fifteen. You. You see the holes that the guy was talking about. It just looks like it's poor management, except for one hole that looks big enough to actually fit something larger than a person. All right, I'm and it's going all the way. It's towards the back, like almost towards the back end of the ship where you guys were. All right, I'm going to try to like kind of keep pace with the ship as it kind of catches up to me. Then I'm just gonna duck into it. Uh, you enter in through a small crawl space, just like the Sahagan said. Uh, there is a tiny little lip that you can grab onto, and that's actually that's a piece of metal that actually looks like it's welded it onto it that someone can actually grab it, even though they're not proficient in being underwater. Huh, somebody's been doctoring this thing. Twink. Yep, you pull up, and you notice that there is a small little staircase that leads like maybe, maybe under five feet up that opens to a hatch. All right, I'm going to head up to that hatch. Uh, I need you to roll me a... Acrobatics or athletics check to get your way through to shibby your way through the small space. Well, that's almost always going to be acrobatics when you're talking to a dex monk. <laughs> that is a 17. 17? Okay. You're so this is how this is pretty much working. Your upper torso is now lift up that the water is no longer pulling you constantly. So like maybe up to your kneecap is where the water is still uh, flowing on top of you. But for the most part, your entire upper body is still in that small little space. You're, you are able to possibly push up the, uh, the flap with, uh, with a good structure part of your uh, forearm. All right. So Athletics. All right. With disadvantage, it's locked, and something's pushing against it. Well, that's even more di- inconvenient. All right. So that was a pretty good roll. Oddly enough, that one was better. My original one was a 15. I rolled a 16 on the 15? second one. Well, no, uh, plus 4, 19. 19? Uh, Crunch. You, you think like you're actually going to be able to push it up, but then you feel something like move on top of it. Something is contesting it with weight, but it also feels like something's shifting alongside of that weight. Uh, man, curse my shitty charisma. <laughs> um, Hello, fellow fish person. <laughs> <laughs> Routine maintenance. Uh, you can. There is something else around here that you could do. What uh, is it? It, but I, I, you have to make the call. All right. Um, so when I push it up, like, is there like, do I get like any clearance? Like, can I see at all? Like under the crack of the thing? It's complete darkness by the time you open up the crack. But it also feels like there's something pushing down on top of it, like the weight of objects. And uh, when you move your arm away, because uh, like you push up, and then like because of the weight, you move your arm back down. You see the symbol of the yith on it. Hmm. In Aquin, I'm going to uh, like. Did it, did it feel like something was actively forcing, or did it feel like? Unfortunately, you can't tell with that okay. roll. Um, it's a very high roll, but you couldn't tell if it was body weight or if it was just objects. Oh no, that was just my force pushing it. But, oh okay. Um. Let's see. You said you said there was something else I could do here. Like, is there something that I can see around me that allows me to? Uh, it was the yith sign. Oh, just the yith sign. Yeah. yeah. If I touch that with my fingers, does it do anything? My fingers. Uh, when you touch your fingers on top of it, you can feel the splinter of the wood kind of crack through your finger. Uh, it does look like there's uh, there was a handprint, but two of the fingers are missing. Hmm. Uh, the handprint is missing an index finger, and it's missing a pinky. It's giving you the super finger. That happens if I, like, press my hand into it while holding my pinky and index finger That's going to be a sleight of hand. All right. 
Slight that hand. Slight it. I'm just showing Ow. slight of my hand. That is slightly a showing. Your hand. Twenty-four. Wow. Wait, no. Uh, Twenty-two. Sorry, I thought I had a uh, proficiency in that. I did not. When you press your fingers into the slot, uh, your fingers actually dive in deeper, and you feel something that is able to slide the door. Oh. Well, I slide. You were pushing something along with it. Whatever whatever was weighted on top of the box was sliding with that hand gesture. Then I push you, open the thing. When you push back up, it is a giant open space that has a bunch of materials in it. These are all packaged goods. Uh, it's like shifted off to the side so you can look at it. A lot of it uh, looks like there's a... They look like props. They look like theater props. Oh, fuck. Um... Does this compartment that I stepped into look like there's any way out aside from the way I went in? Uh, it looks like there's a metal slit. You can see dim light peeking through, but it also looks like it's bolted shut with those nails, uh, with the uh, with the rope, like you saw in the other box. Shit. Well, I'm just going to investigate down here, see if I find anything interesting. Go for it. Other than the fact that there's a hidden compartment full of theater props. Uh, that is a 17 for investigation. Mm. 17? You find packets of ketchup. Like fake blood kind yep. of packets? Yep. Uh, red ink. There are... There are... Uh, there are small... There are actually... It's a magical item, by the way. You find this. Oh. You find a hand-sized portable hole. Hand-sized portable hole? Yep. What? Mmm. Yep. And you also find a stack of uh, a stack of clothing that looks like there's a couple of small ones and a couple of medium ones, and this clothing it actually looks like the raincoats that the sailors are wearing. And there's also two pistols. I'm gonna put those in my belt, the pistols. Okay. When you pick them up, they feel hollow. So they're props. They are fake guns. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to use that hand-sized portable hole. I'm not entirely sure how the item works, but I'm going to see if I can figure it out. Place it on the wall and try to pull the rope on the other side. Is that how the spell? Is that how the portable hole works? Uh, okay. Like, do I just make an empty space somewhere? Yep. Sounds you're like pretty, a wily coyote. Pretty, yep. You're pre it's a black hole, but basically, when you pull your hand through, up to at least your elbow, you could fit the arm. And you could actually feel air on the outside, and you could feel the latch as you uh, move your maneuver your hand around. All right. And I pull that. Uh, Just you, to get you, me out of you here. You pull off one latch. Does the wall shift at all, or move? Uh, I'm just gonna say, for the sake of brevity, you put you put the wall, the uh, portable hole on the other side, do the same thing, and the door, the top opens. You are. You have just pulled yourself out of the box that's just in front of your hidden compartment for where you were sleeping. It's a big goddamn box. I take the portable hole, and I'm not entirely sure how to transport it. Uh, you could roll it up like paper. <laughs> Keep that. Yeah, that paper sounds like a scroll. very useful item. <laughs> and just pocket, and I will uh, put it in my satchel. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. <laughs> or make holes. No, it it only works if it's fully compressed onto a flat surface. Gotcha, cool. All right, well, I'm going to go see how it's going up there. And I head back up where this has been happening in the meanwhile. <laughs> yeah, so, Taka, what have you been doing this whole time? You're still invisible. Uh, uh, so AJ just takes, all right, let's go upstairs. <laughs> AJ just goes upstairs. Okay, uh, I'm going to go to them first before we get Okay, there. no worries. <laughs> We okay. split the fuck out of this party. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Morgan and Chromagill and Valtara, mm -hmm. you watch as all this is happening. You're still kind of in control of uh, Doodle Wake. Noi, 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 manoi. Uh, you, you, he, uh, you kind of like push Doodle Wake to the back. Uh, all, however, if he was to dissipate at this point, there's no way that you could like, like. He's like maybe sixty feet away from you, mm -hmm. and they're all still busy arguing with themselves. But now that he's been dismissed, with they're gonna go back to uh, the other crew members or noi, the noi, other uh, uh, suspects. People getting interrogated. Okay. Noi noi manoi. So uh, 
I'm going to need you to roll me a performance check to have a uh, fake wake kind of saunter on away far enough that you could just dispel him. Sweet God, family guy animation. Yep. Natural 20 again. Ah, what hey. the fuck? Who's using the broken dice now? <laughs> Throws his hands in the air. Noi, 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 noi. Walks downstairs. Yep. So you, <laughs> Meanwhile, Wake coming up the stairs. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, you just saw Doodle Wake come down. Oh. Noi, 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 noi. Uh, pulls out a knife. I'm uh, you're not wake. I'm wake. No, you <laughs> stop pointing at me. Uh, uh, I win. I, I see wake <laughs> walk by and uh Well he's uh, not back up yet. This oh, is all oh, in between not, time. Yeah. Okay. This yeah. is in between the time where he jumps out the window and he's investigating. Gotcha. Since you were saying saw doodle wake walk by and freaked out, I thought he rejoined. Yeah. Gotcha. I just like to imagine that that's how it'll end. Yes. <laughs> Who do I shoot? So, at this point, uh, the guards now notice you all, and they actually, like, turn to all the other uh, basic sus- the, the non-suspects, and they go, All right. We want all of you to stay on this side of the wall. You're saying that to us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's, he's telling all of you to stay on the opposite side where the suspects are. And stay in one condensed area, so they want you in the galley. Cromagill gives like a respectful nod and just walks in the direction they pointed. He he will he will submit to their orders. Uh, Morgan will comply. <clears throat> All right, good. Not a, like everyone else kind of comply. Everyone else kind of complies. Poor Mrs. Marlowe is just like she de- uh, she uh, Mrs. Uh, Deeprood. I apologize. She is just so beside herself. She just wants to get this over with. And then you all watch as one of the Yith guards or uh, the crew member. Pull out shackles and put them around her feet, and then her wrist. Hey. And they start doing that with uh, more people as they're starting to object. They put their guns to their faces. Ex- Comply. Excuse me. I uh, this we're just looking for a single murder uh, murderer suspect, right? Indeed. But now at this point, we need all of your testimony. So it would be best if you all stayed put in one place. This. Just, is this normally how this works? Nope. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why? We like to do things by the old ways, Mushroom. Oh, the old ways. You got a problem with that? He butts you in the face. Four. He has to hit first. Yeah, roll. What is your AC? 16. 16? You take it like a champ and it does nothing to you. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> No. He takes his shotgun and aims at your foot. Fellows, fellows, we're all on this ship together. There's no reason for us to start fighting like this. We're just looking for one guilty party. We've all been assumed innocent at this point. Persuasion. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Okay, so Nat won. So, uh, so, Chromagill doesn't exactly, uh, Frame phrase this very well, I'm assuming. So I need you to frame this in the worst way possible. Okay. Now, if one of us was the killer, this just seems like a good way to make us mad and make us kill again. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> That's a good way to put it badly. <laughs> what are you going to do, lock us in chains? <laughs> This seems like a good way to ensure we wish to cause more chaos. I don't understand why you do this. This only encourages more bad behavior. If I was a killer and you tried to chain me, I would probably immediately try to kill you. They train all your guns on you. Not saying I would, though. Just (laughs) saying that if that was the kind of person I was, I would do that. I'm new to talking to people. Please don't take this out of context. Help me, Morgan. (laughs) Uh, Mecha! Mecha! Mecha on the other side. Fuck. Hold on. She's already a suspect. Hold up. So, okay, so is the captain on? No. The captain's not here. Captain's driving the boat. So how many uh, members of the crew are... Like three, three. So there's three. You got the human. Human. We got the human cook, because the uh, other deckhand was killed. Okay. Uh, we have the kobold, and we have the first mate. I'm gonna cast forsaken chains on the first mate. <laughs> Explain that to the audience. <laughs> what are forsaken chains? 
I thought the first mate was up with the captain right now. Or did he come he down? He came back down. Okay. He came back down. Came back down. Let came back down. Change. Thank God I printed out the homebrew <laughs> class sheet for this. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh. And, and I know I sound like a broken record when I say that, but I'd like people to explain all the to, new stuff. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially yeah. since we're, that... play, we're playing homebrew stuff here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Da, da, da. It's ba, ba, da, ba, 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 da, ba, ba. I'm loving it. Man, AJ, man, AJ okay. walked away from all it this nonsense. It is a nonsense. fuck this. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> sitting back watching. Okay. Okay. AJ's just like, I'm going to go upstairs. So it's a first level evocation spell. It counts as an action. And three ethereal chains hold them in place. And for every five feet they move, they take 1d12 necrotic damage. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Also, talking about how AJ is here is making me really upset. The worst thing I could have done would have been, we already know about someone you don't know who's on this ship with a gun. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, that's how you cause some chaos. Yeah, that would have been the worst thing I could have said. <laughs> I wish you, you haven't had even that. dealt with the stowaways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. If you were, You're if mad this was at a good. Yet, we didn't stow away like those other two, including the one that's armed and invisible. All I'm saying, sir, is if I trusted your judgment, I might not know about the stowaway okay. with a gun you missed. All right. So back, back. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I wish you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you always think of the best comebacks, yeah, like you're five right, minutes right later. after. It's like, yeah. damn it. It's, like, it's, it's just the way it is. All right, so there's three spectral chains holding the first mate down. All right. Things are getting a bit hairy now. Take the shackles off the misses, and I'll let the first mate go. Y'all know that me and the big guy here Hi. are innocent. It's me. We are complying. We're all just frazzled. If he moves, he's gonna die. Roll persuasion. I just imagine Wake hearing this shit coming up the... <laughs> oh, what the fuck did I miss? Wake walks up. Hi, Wake. Why do you have two guns in your belt? Why did I do this? <laughs> More guns! <laughs> Excellent! for this. Val they're they're Val under my robe in the back. <laughs> Valtar is going to... Uh, Actually, no, I'm wearing my Johnny Dark Souls gear. I was gear. say, if anyone could back me up, because I also have to kind of focus on the first mate, because it is a concentration action. Valtara, uh, do you mind passing me the uh, librarian book that's right there in oh, front of us? Oh, it's right here. Thank you. Because I believe Valtara has an ability that she could help you with this. Okay. Krovagil's just, like, seeing all these shades, like, no, this isn't what I wanted! <laughs> <laughs> We could have just talked. You did this to yourself. We were like this close to a mutiny. Uh, <laughs> I was tempted to say, fuck it, let's just mutiny. You, you feel like Valtar kind of like laces her giant fingers across her book and Chromagill, you can see the book actually gives like a faint glow when she does this. Her eyes give that same glow as well. And she's right next to you. So she taps her tail on the side of your leg and you have the same vision as well. Roll uh, insight. Uh, with advantage on the crew. So that's a 14 on the insight. You don't, you don't know, like, you, you don't get it, like, verbally, but you can tell, like, based on this, like, based on the magic that's flowing through you right now, their intentions, the moment everyone agrees to put all their guns away, they're just gonna pull it back out and shoot you. Tension, 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 like, tension. Like that, that hasn't been said, but you can feel that. Chroma Gill is Time still trying to be bureaucratic. We all could be friends here. My, you have just alarmed my compatriot, and he dr dr was driven to action. Please, we can do this. Chroma Gill, you hear another voice in your head. Who's the? Who's I that? will. But th you hear, you hear something else in your head. I will try to pacify them as I can. They speak to the Yith, as do I. <gasps> Did anyone? No, no one's reacting. Okay, uh, I just. <laughs> please don't roll, do anything roll a rash. Perception check. Perception, you said. Yep. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. You kind of like look. You try to like focus yourself. Like you're since you can't move your eyes, no one can notice this. Yeah. Your like your eyes are kind of like trailing. You see the priest, and from where his hand is, a small tentacle kind of like tr trickles into his sleeve. That's where the vo that's where the voice came from. People are weird. I don't. 
Okay, so, so Did you do that? He just says that to, out to, loud. And he has no other choice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The only thing I can do is just well, his okay. face respond. You know what? And, I will. And, uh, I will Gil does not have the wherewithal to go. He probably doesn't want that. To, I, to okay, be put so on how about this? about this? I will roll a performance. You need to roll an insight. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Eighteen by two points. He beat you out. You know, like this guy's just like, don't say anything. <laughs> don't say a thing. Please, gentlemen, it's not... We don't have to fight. <laughs> he is still just going back to keeping his... At this point, the uh, the three crewmen are lowering their guns, waiting to see if you'll lower your weapon. Drop them and kick them over here. I, don't, Morgan, I, feel, I feel like they were lowering their weapons to see if like, they're right. I feel like it's that scene in Community. Wake's just walking with pizza boxes. Everything's Air's on fire. Fire. <laughs> Do. He's not even here. What? He didn't do this. He was never here to begin with. <laughs> Who? Uh, <laughs> persuasion. Holy shit. You know, like, because of Valtara's magic, you knew that based on her vision, these guys were going to fuck you guys up no matter what you did. But they're complying and dropping their weapons and putting it to the side. That was not foretold. Hmm. Foretold. There we and that, go. And then they look to you, waiting for you to release the crew member. Can Wake come in and grab their guns? <laughs> I was about to. I was about to say either Chromagill or Wake needs to go get the guns. At this point, you're still in the box. Oh, Chromagill, can you get those guns, please? Again, we don't take these to do harm to no, you. With them. No, no. Like, he's picking them up. Chromagill, I am losing concentration. Please hurry up. <laughs> Gather the guns. <laughs> Where do you put the guns? He just kind of has them in his me. arms. <laughs> <laughs> Just sticks them in his it's, 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 Oh my god, it's chroma. Put, it's, it's put chroma, the it's, guns it's, in a box. It's a chroma dreadnought. They 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 tell you you will be calm when you put the put them in a box. Bullshit. Chromagill. Chroma Chromagill, you hear in your head. Tell your companion to comply. Morgan, I th I think it would be best for us to find a place to put these. I, this this does make the most sense to me. I'm gonna look around for a box to to put them in. Uh, seven in perception. I don't know if I'm gonna find one. You just find the most closest box ever. You just like put it. In. You open up. <laughs> you open up the box and you see, you. Okay. You open up the box and you see a ra you, like all the food rations. And this looks also, like a good spot for gunpowder. You also see Grammy's face just as you're putting the guns in. And close it. Hello. <laughs> Dealing with something. <laughs> Oh. Could have thrown him out the window too. <laughs> I just thought you're like, there we go. Now they won't hurt anybody. It's like, it's like, that, it's like Ghostbusters. You just threw the jacket on, like Go or Zool. There we go. <laughs> They're waiting on you to comply to your end of the bargain. I let go. Well, now that they have no weapons, they comply and release the shackles from the two they've done to so far. <laughs> It's important for us to not lose our minds when trying to solve this mystery. I know tensions are high, but we're all on the same side here. Along the wall, then. Gotta no step. shackles, but along the wall. Steps back and does as he's See, was that so hard? Yes, Outsider, it was. I still have my weapons. Referring as to your clients me, as Outsiders isn't a you. good way to build rapport. He, as he walks away, you hear him mutter to you, as do we. <laughs> and Morgan hears that. Yep. Morgan's eyes go all black. To hell with thee! Let's see here. Uh, Morgan's gonna whip out his pistol and shoot a chromatic round. Oh, Jesus. Where? Well, right at the first mate. Roll the hit. <laughs> this is where Wade comes in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, seeing this happen, Wade's just gonna stick around the corner. Oh, fuck. That's a 21. Does a 21 hit? Yeah, it does. Okay. You never gave me the exact specifications for chromatic round. It just casts chromatic orb, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to do some of Google. And oh, do some. It's, it's a chromatic orb 5E. Sorry, y'all. It's like AG a couple D6 or something mm -hmm. like that. In yeah, but based on level. damage. Oh, based on yeah, level. Yeah, that's why I'm like, give me just a second, ladies and gentlemen. That's the problem with homebrew classes, because the spiritualist can know a lot of shit. I love how this just goes from Chroma Gilvia, like, see, we all complied. We're all going to be friends. Morgan, no! <laughs> <laughs> This, that's literally. Oh! That, 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 you that's were the shooter all along! 
This literally, this, you literally have one of those Eric Andre. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Bitch, I'm having a hard time finding it. Is this it's, what it's like I'll working with me? It's just, it's just, <laughs> just giving me the range. Sorry. Wait, 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 just like turning around the corner. Is this what it's like working with me? <laughs> Meanwhile, AJ. Yeah, we'll get to you in a hot second. I'm just going to roll this damage. Hold it's poor on. mustard on a sandwich. Cutting off the crust. It's cutting off it's the scales, crust. It's scales, yes. Gunshot. Yeah. Bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. Damage type. The gun pointing at the chef. Well, what's the chosen damage Here we go, here we go. Uh, okay. It's, uh, if the attack hits, the creature takes 3d8 on a type that you choose. Uh, you choose acid, cold, fire, lightning, poison, or thunder. Uh, nah. you, it hits one creature you see within range. I'll do lightning. Yeah, that sounds about right for a sea man. Okay. So that's 3d8? Yep. So that's a six. That's two. Eight. That's a four. Twelve. Twelve points of damage. Ah, ah, ah. Times two, because the guy is completely soaking wet. So 24. <laughs> oh, oh, this will go over well. Uh-oh. Well, now it's a mutiny. Oh, shit. Well, now we, <laughs> Hell move, over yeah. to, now we move over to AJ. <laughs> Meanwhile, while that was happening. Yep. So this is all between time, by the way. Yeah. So AJ's gonna just go upstairs. I don't really know the layout of the ship, so just like. Hmm. Uh, you are now on the deck of a ship. Uh, it's a uh, it's a sloop. It used to be a commissioned vorpal, which means it used to be a magic funneled ship. There are tubes that kind of like come out from the top of the deck and kind of like merge into the side of the wall. Okay. But these are all decommissioned, but you can still feel like because of you being a wizard, you could feel arcane like residue on these things. Okay. okay well. Uh. There is the mast in the middle. There's portholes in the galley, so you could hear people talking if you wanted to listen to it. There are, there's a passenger siding on the in the far back, uh, and there's also the captain's uh, quarters up in the front. Asmo's gonna go for the captain's quarters, but he's also, <laughs> uh, but he's also, oh my god, <laughs> what? Uh, AJ's gonna go for the, uh, <laughs> my god, I don't yeah, I'm back, baby. I don't uh, AJ's gonna like just real quickly, just because he's still invisible, just do a little Hulk Hogan listen. <laughs> Roll a perception. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I love how AJ's still putting all this flair in his stuff despite being invisible and knowing he's no lost one his can damn see him. He's lost he's his still... damn. <laughs> he knows the god is watching him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, perception, you said? Yes, please. That is a. That is. Oh my god, that was not. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, you hear. Uh, you hear pretty much like the crew members still talking to everyone down below. You hear. Uh, you hear the anchor of the ship hanging off the side of it and banging against it every once in a great while, moving with the waves. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like, every five seconds, you'll hear a... Is it, is it perfectly timed every time? It's perfectly timed, yes. Uh, Arcana check on that. Can okay. I, can I, he's, it, uh, he just kind of goes... Mm. Roll that. Oh, it's just a ten. You want to roll it again? I'm not going to count that. <laughs> oh, it landed in the cup. Yeah. What do we got? 12. 12. Oh, back. that's a 17 instead. That's an animate object spell. <laughs> oh. Wait, so that's, sorry, that's a 18, actually. Well, either way, somebody's <laughs> animating animate, the <laughs> anchor? A animate object. Someone is animating the anchor. What the hell? That's weird. <laughs> uh, Where is the anchor located on the ship? It's on the opposite end of the ship right now, so maybe like 60 feet away from you. Uh, is it maybe, on the front or the back? It's near the front. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, when you near it, that um, arcane residue you felt from the pipes before, yeah. it's way stronger on the pipe nearest to the anchor. Oh, it's not decommissioned. It's still working. Oh, that's a fishy thing. What can that be used for? Do I know that? Did that, I learn that in magic school? That would be another arcane with advantage. Ooh. Magic apparently college. He was, apparently he was at least at the oh! lecture. That was a nat one, so thank God it's with advantage. And that is a... That is a 16. This is pure Vorpal energy. This is energy, this is magic without form. This is exactly why people get upset when the Navy use their magic to power up their, anything on there to regulate all their magic. It's because it's magic without form, so it's taking raw essence, making it into nothing. It's basically just pretty much the stem cell of magic. Oh my God, it just 
So they're channeling magic for no purpose. They're channeling, no, it, it's converting that into anything. So you could pull it out and shape it as whatever you want if you d if done correctly. Huh, okay then. But why the anchor banging? Is it like trying to make a signal or something? Uh, no, uh, based on the roles that you, based on the roles that you got, okay. I can pretty much say this. Okay. Uh, the animate object spell is, is resonating with the magic because since it's shapeless and has no form and whatever's left inside of it, it's activating the spell only only enough to make it just move up and down. Okay. So it's just kind of doing, like, that's kind of like just magic radiation doing yeah. that. It's Pretty, not somebody actively Yeah, it's, it's, oh. ma it. it's magic radiation, and it's like it's like the dying batteries of an Elmo doll that's going... Uh, 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 uh. it on fire. Yeah. And Elmo keep talking. <laughs> all right, uh... All right, so AJ's gonna... Mm, okay, that's weird. And AJ's gonna... Skip along to the captains. I need you to roll me another perception check. Okay. And that is... 16. Uh, 16? Yep. You see a magic light spark off in the distance just before the cap, just before the ship. Maybe, like, out in the distance, you can see in the darkness that there's a light flashing. You can't tell what's going on, but it seems like some kind of signal. And then a second one appears. And then a third one appears, oh. and then a fourth one appears. Oh, oh, oh. It just has things. And then this. above the ship, boom, 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 a bright light flashes. Uh, uh. <laughs> he starts beelining it right for the captain. <laughs> All right, you are at the captain's uh, door. Can I knock without breaking invisibility? Uh, uh, double check invisibility and see if it says that doing an action causes break. Okay, I'm gonna. Know. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, apologies. No, it's, it's so fine. It's, it's so fine. Good. A creature you touch becomes invisible since he's touching himself until the spell ends, lasts an hour. Anything Scandalous. The is wearing or carrying is invisible as long as it is the target person. The spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. All right, so. So casting another spell will break your invisibility. But yeah. knocking on the door. He's gonna just... Well, knock is a spell. Oh, no. He no, no, knock, I want to physically knock. knock on the door. Oh, that's fine, yeah. Okay, he just goes. And he just steps to the side. Roll me a dexterity save because the door swings open the way you're standing. You're standing. What? Oh, come on! <laughs> I look where the hinges are! <laughs> Should have said that. Oh, come on! That's. <laughs> I gotta make That's it interesting good one, somehow, though. dude. Oh, that is. That is a dexterity saving throw, you said? Yep. yep. 21. Yeah, if you just you step on the other side. Whoa. At the last second. Oh, wait. And uh, is the, do I see the captain step out for yep. much? Uh, the captain steps out, and he holds out a lantern. AJ puts the gun to his head and, dro and drops invisibility. Hey, let's have a conversation. <laughs> Roll intimidation. This is like a Devolver digital video game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, yes. Intimidation, you said? Yep. <laughs> uh, where's my intimidation? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, right well, above I'll investigation. It. It's still an 18. He lets go. He uses his other hand to let go of the door and holds his hand up. Good, 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 oh, good. Oh, shit. All right. Come on in. Come on in. You, you <laughs> utter him. You uh, usher him inside. You have the gun still pointed at his head. He, uh, you are now looking on the inside of the captain's side. There's, like, all of his private quarters are off on the side. Uh, there are charters. Oh, sorry. Just smack the uh, microphone. There are sea charts on a table right in front of him, and all of them lead towards the uh, the Emerald Canal. And it also has like a bunch of other like bigger miniature ships. Like there's the sloop, and then four bigger ships that are coming in through the canal to meet them. Oh, oh, something's afoot here. Uh, he kicks them to the floor real fast, just like get on the floor, you. Uh, roll me a. You know what? Since he's still afraid, I'm gonna allow this. Just roll me an attack with advantage. Attack with advantage. Okay. That would be an unarmed attack. Okay. So that's whatever it is. Plus one d twenty strength. plus strength. That's a fourteen. Uh, fourteen. With oh. advantage. Oh. Yeah, fourteen is the highest one, and uh, I don't know which one to base this off of. Forgive it's me. Strength. Uh, it's strength. strength. So strength, nothing. It's just a fourteen. Then. Just a fourteen. Fourteen. <laughs> You Charlie horse him enough that he gets on the ah. floor. I handy him. Ah. Kick him yep. right in the side of the knee. <laughs> Charlie horse. <laughs> yep, so now you have the gun nestled back against the back of his head. Oh, that's good, because I'm going to cast a spell on him. I'm just picturing like a fantasy version of the Ace Ventura interrogation. 
Oh yeah, he just starts pushing his yeah. eye in. No, uh, uh, I will keep doing this until you tell him. Bro, my brother used to do that to me. <laughs> I uh, <laughs> where is where is this spell? Where, no, there was one here. Where is it? Which what one spell are you looking for? for? Uh, it was uh, I was looking for a knock because it said it can actually put a chain around someone's feet. Yeah. A target that is held shut by a mundane lock or is struck by a guard becomes unlocked and stuck. Uh, a target that is held shut by an arcane lock. Oh, sorry. Yeah, not, knock only unlocks things. Oh, dang it. I wanted to lock him up. It, it oh. locks and unlocks things. Well, you can still, like, use an investigation check to find something to tie him down. Investigation check. Okay. Make uh, it. Roll it. That should be good for you since you're a wizard. With a big hole in that one. Oh boy. That's a seven. I thought. Nah. Oh, that's a seven. Yeah. Natural seven. <laughs> seven. And that's interesting. So that's ten. Ten. Uh, the closest thing you could find is the captain's bed sheet. <laughs> does he have a chair? <laughs> Get on the bed. Yes, he does have a chair. <laughs> Asmo grabs the chair. Oh, Asmo. Oh, 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 AJ. Oh my god. AJ grabs the chair. I'm used to hearing Nick's Roll voice. Roll with me. Mondays at five. <laughs> uh, AJ grabs the chair and puts it right along his throat, and sits in and puts a gun right to his face. Roll an athletics check to keep it on top of him. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> My mage like athletics. <laughs> <laughs> Get strong. Now that's a nat one. Natural hey. wonders! Hey. So, you, it, ah. so it doesn't stay nestled to his neck. It kind of hits him in the face. <laughs> oh, and then the gun's in his mouth. <laughs> so you just, you just traveling up the, just traveling up Emerald, up to, traveling up the straight there, right? Is that what you were doing? Nod, nod your head. And shake your head. I think you know. I think you're smart enough to know how he, bad he this is. He nods his head. Okay, good, 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 good. So why? Uh, so the four ships that are coming this way. I don't think the people below deck know about that, do they? They do not arrive. <laughs> he just, pull, just pulls the gun out a little bit. What was that? I'm sorry. I, you're already hard to understand. They're not the ships we're looking for. You're looking for ships. I'm looking for our Lord to come down the ship. Those are not them. That's someone different. Puts the gun in his mouth. Uh, <laughs> just wanted this to be a sleep trip. No, the drop, the dragon mist, they're coming. Oh, shut up. <laughs> AJ's like, oh, shut up already. One second. He's just thinking. Ugh. See, do you want to get away from them or go closer because you signaled back at them? So that means you knew each other, right? Yes, if, they, if it's not the ships we're looking for, if they're, if they're relaying the, si if they're actually acting to the signal, they're part of that crew then. So is, they, this some, is this some weird cult thing that's going down that I just walked into the middle the of? The earth will eat your bones in the oh, sea when you say It's a weird cult thing I've walked into. Ah! He has a lot of patience. Ah. Uh, at this point, he's pretty much telling you that it's not the original ships that he intended to come down here. Maybe one of them is, but apparently a giant sea serpent did not, was a... Uh, delayed their entire, like, little, uh, their entire thing that they have going on party. right now. So, what are they... Uh, they're, they're going to set... They're pretty much giving away the richest hostages they have to the pirates that are ushering the bigger ship in. And the bigger ship is ferrying someone who will eat everyone else. As sacrifice. So he tells me all this, essentially? Yes. Thank you so freaking much. I appreciate it. Sleep. I can't sleep. Sleep. Uh, go ahead and read off sleep. <laughs> read off sleep. This spell sends creatures into a magical slumber. Oh. Roll 5d8. The total is how many hit points the creature this spell can affect. Of creatures this spell can affect. Creatures within 20 feet of a point you choose. Point it's you just this guy. Okay, yeah. it's just this guy. I just so want... I just want you to do one thick, qu quick thing for me because this at this point, eights. if you do roll these eights, it it accumulates based on how much HP he has. Yeah. You did hit him a couple of times, so I need you to roll me. Uh, since you're doing an you're doing a weapon strike with this gun, pretty much, and an unarmed strike. So I need you to roll me a. Oh, I'm actually casting a spell, sleep. No, I know you're casting a spell, but, but I'm saying for the damage you've been dealing by hitting oh, this guy okay. over and over again. I want you to roll me three d six. Three d six. Okay, I can do that. Yay, I did. Nine. A nine. Plus nine damage. strength? He has zero. <laughs> oh, right. Duh. Wizard. Duh. I'm strong Wizard. of will, not of str not of physicality. Are you sure he's strong of will? <laughs> eh, his, his will's not bad. Okay. Uh, so you did nine points of damage. Yes, indeedy. 
And I need to roll your D8. Okay, now I need you to roll your D8. How many D8? Five? Five. <laughs> you should just roll those three and then two more. Okay. Yeah. That'll probably be easier. Than just make sure to tell me the numbers, please. Four, one, two, seven. Oh, that's seven altogether. Se and another seven. Fourteen. Fourteen? He's drowsy, but he's not completely asleep. Oh, for the love of God. I just smack him across the head, <laughs> waking him back up. Uh, roll to hit one more. Uh, roll to hit this time. Okay. <coughs> Fuck. That one. No, a four. A four. Plus my strength is nothing. So just flailing. Ah, stop it. Go hey! Yeah, you, 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 you smack him upside the head one more time. I'm going to roll. Roll me a athletics check. Okay. That hit? No, that oh, didn't oh, hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> 20. Soft 20. He rolled in that 20. Ah! He kicks you off. Okay, here we go. Uh, he just says, fuck it, and just shoots him. I'm going to let him get one hit on you okay. first before that happens. Uh, here we go. You, he actually, when you look up, you see the scar on his face begin to burn and like sort of melt the flesh. Ugh. And <laughs> what looks like a, and I know this is going to sound so bad, but I had this written up, but because of Sekiro, I hate it. A centipede comes out of his mouth. Okay. I don't get that yet. <laughs> mm. I haven't made it that far. Uh, well, I just spoiled someone. A centipede like like creature kind of like reaches out from the tattoo and lunges at you. I need you to roll. What is your AC? Big ol' 13! All right, here we go. It missed by one point. Jesus. Good, because now I'm going to use... Can I use a cantrip in reaction? Yeah. Mm, firebolt! <laughs> roll the hit. <laughs> I don't know how to fuck this. Oh, that's, so that's a, a spell, spell, attack. spell attack at the next so page. So it's your... Uh, at the top of the list. You add that to your attack. Add six. Oh. Good, 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 good. Here we go, here we go. This is fun. And that is 17. That's 20. That burns him. Go, go ahead and describe how you kill this man. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just, I just put down the, I just drop the gun, lift up the hand, and just fire shoot. I just grab it by its mouth and just fire shoots down the whole length of it right into the guy's head, and it pops. Wait, how much? Awesome. How much damage does that do? Oh, roll the hit. Well, oh, he did damage, roll damage. damage. Roll damage. No, that's a twenty. Oh. So you want to roll your oh, damage Jesus dice? Right. Of no, it's on the front, dude. It's on the front. Fire well, bolt. Oh, one d six plus one, or is your your fire bolt? I don't, think, I don't think he's written down Firebolt. I don't. That's what I can do. Good Sorry. Google. I, I got it. Google's fine. Uh, no, I, Firebolt, here we go. 1D10 one D, one D fire damage. You yeah, get more at higher levels. Oh, what? oh, I cast that at third level. Well, wait, so it just goes up. Actually, no, I think it, it's. Wait, Firebolt, you just get more bolts to fire. It's a cantrip. Is it? Yeah. yeah two I'm D10. Pretty sure that's how I got two works. D10s. Yeah, two D10s. Okay, I need another D10. Do we have another D10? Thank you so much. I apologize, everybody. I'm, I'm not just using that one, First one time you, wizard. That one's in tens, but just, you know, take the zero off of it. Alrighty. And that is an eight and a three, so that is 11 damage. Yeah, no, that, sh that centipede gets charred to bits, and you watch as the guy kind of, like, slumps over and hits the floor. <sighs> the, tat just... the tattoo is completely gone. Man, I, and now I just scan the room. Is there anything, anything of note that I'm looking at in this room, real quick? Well, you can you can uh, loot him, or you can uh, loot the uh, you can look at the controls, or you can look at the guy's actual like findings uh, in his uh, personal area. I look at the controls first. All right. Uh, do you know how to drive a ship? Roll history with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, baby. Ooh, that's a four. That that's I, lo I love it, it when could you always see be the worse. eighteen and then it tips. And that's a that's a nat one. There we go. Uh, Told you it could be worse. It's just a bunch of switches. Ah, fuck. A bunch of switches. You got the you got the spin it. Just you got the ank. You got the uh, the wheel. You have uh, a couple of other like knobs and bolts and shit. And you have no idea what any of this does. You just know there's a wheel and okay. you know there's levels. You got the jibbler that if you, you got the dingle on the, it. The jibbler with do. the doohickey. Do I understand how a wheel of a ship works? You've you've seen stories. You know. He just goes and goes. Slight turn. <laughs> Slight turn away from the lights. Just go this way. Roll athletics. Oh no, I it's don't a, have that. It's a heavy wheel. Ah, oh, damn it! It's, it's a nine. It fights you, and it starts going the opposite direction. Well, I just uh, pretend I didn't touch it. <laughs> he goes and loots the. He goes and loots the body. <laughs> All right. Uh, you find, you find a dagger. Cool in the bag. You find 150 gold. 
That's cool. I'll just give it to someone who needs it. Me, hunting bag. <laughs> uh, you find a manifest Ooh. that speaks about someone's orders to to uh, to write down everyone who's on the ship and what their belongings are and send it out on the charter on the second day. This is the third day. So on the oh. second day, you were they were instructed to meet up with someone, a cyclops from the onrush army known as Koo Bolas. <laughs> he licks his lips as erotically. Oh yeah, come to pop up with big eye, motherfucker. And that's you could just you could just say at this point he's just gonna take all the books he can and come back to and say, oh, invisible. He casts invisibility on himself. Uh, how many times can you cast invisibility? Oh man, I'm about to find out who the fuck I am. Uh, it's Spell on your slots. it's on your page, uh, your second page oh. of your uh, thingy. Ooh, 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 invisibility. Ooh. Invisibility is a level one, yeah, or a level two? It's level three. A level three. You have used up two level threes today, so <laughs> you have one more left. I didn't use, I only used one invisibility. You used it twice, because this is your second time using it. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, so you have one more level three after so this. So he just goes, <laughs> scampers away with the books and everything. Okay. And I'm outie. Uh, there is one more thing of note that you do find that's kind of interesting on here. Before uh, I leave the room. I see yeah, it. before you leave the room. Uh, well, it was on the guy. Oh, uh, well. And also, I need you to roll me an investigation check if you're going to loot shit around the area. Ah. What did that end up being? And that is a beautiful, a wonderful... That is a 15. 15? Hey, buddy. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. You find a gnarled and twisted sword sitting on the wall... Uh, sitting above the guy's, like, headrest where he was sleeping. It almost looks, it looks like a blade, but then it warps and makes like a corkscrew. And at the tip of the blade, it looks like the face of a banshee. Cool. <laughs> It'd probably be hard to put in a sheath. It, there is no sheath. <laughs> it's one of those back blades. Do I do what I, can I tell that that is magical as fuck? Uh, identify. Ooh, oh, I do have that spell. But you have to use the spell for it. I yeah. cast Identify. Being a mage is wild as fuck, let me tell you. Uh, where is it? There it is. Son of a... Son of a... Come on. God damn it, I, I missed it. Everybody, I want you all to know Just that I'm, spell al sheet. I, I'm also impatient with me. It's a, it's a level one, yeah. Level one, yeah. It's, it's a level, level one. one. Alright. All right. This is from Gast Isle. You were here before. This is where all the demons came from. This is a mortal seeker. This thing is meant to pierce through a body and not attack the actual physical form, but the spiritual form. It takes souls out and deals damage that way. Don't tell Morgan about this one. Is it cursed? No, it is not. Mm, it just goes, just like extended little like, Hanna-Barbera arms come in. <laughs> Dink! Mm, take it off. All right. At this point, I think this is a good place where we can take a break. Yes. We we'll can. be right, right back. back. After this. I have this. maps to fix. Welcome back to the table. Hi. We're, we're in the middle of a mutiny. Things seem like they're about to go real the south. captain's fucking captain, dead. Captain's dead. Captain and, was a centipede. And the first mate. And uh, now Wake's just weighing his options as he's like coming around the corner. Oh, my God. How could this get worse? Killed the captain. Ah! <laughs> captain's right, so dead. So we are now at a convergence point. Wake has just walked upstairs. He now sees Morgan just killed the first mate. Oh, boy. Uh, they have no weapons, so the other two kind of yield immediately. Like, unrealistically so immediately. And now everyone's just kind of just, like, sitting there going, all right, well, get us out of here. I mean, like, but you're also making this worse. What? We're never going to make it to South Zealous now. We're all, what do we do? Wake just walks up. Okay, somebody should probably go get the captain. Uh, AJ pops up in the thing. But he was you, you, come down, you come downstairs, but you're still invisible. Uh, I get, take, get rid of my invisibility. Okay, so, uh, so now, ev now, everyone appear, now everyone sees this giant, disheveled high elf in rags just appear out of nowhere. Uh, Captain? No, he's dead, by the way. Oh, God. Mitra, no, no. You just hear Mitra scream, What?! No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me elaborate about that. I went upstairs, I interrogated him. Turns out there's some weird cult-like... Sacrifice that was going to be going on. There's a bunch of ships converging here, from what I'm understanding, and from what I can tell. Oh, by the way, the captain, uh, uh, as he was dying, he uh, is the scar on his face. All of a sudden, like a big centipede crawled out of it. 
Which is eyes the crew. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Krovica oh, no looks worries, over no at the I killed that too, so he's dead. That's why I killed him. Do you do that with your tattoos? They don't look to you. They just like sit. They just they they don't look to you. They just like sit on the floor. Like they obviously have been defeated at this point because everyone else is surrounding them, and you guys have their weapons. So they're just yep. on the floor, just like looking up at you just now, just not saying anything. Anyways, just with with smoldering anger. I hand over. Here's a bunch of plans they had. Who should I give these to right now? Because I don't know. I'm not really. <laughs> I just I'm out of here. Like, hey Voltara, you're you're good at reading there you this go. stuff. There you go. Uh, <laughs> hand 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 all the books. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, you yes. mentioned a sacrifice. Yeah, I don't know. They were gonna do something involving everybody. This was a complete elaborate ruse. They were smuggling you to death. What a bad ship I was on. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know, I I am just gonna say this out loud. Just I've been thinking it ever since I've known that, you know, they were gonna try to kill us. But I'm just thinking in due respect. I think they owe us a ship. Well, this one still works. It's still magical. That's what that, uh, the anchor banging along, that's because some of the magical energy is going through those, those like, fucking magical tubes, and uh, that's why it's dinging like that. It's just like... This is like, a decommissioned vorpal vessel, uh, vessel. Yep, we'll take it. Hey, right, you want the captain's dead anyway, so you want to be captain? Sure. Good, I'm out of here in 20 hours. That ain't my problem. All right. All right, real quick, by the way, anyways, they have this guy. He's this warlord or some pirate lord who's on his way here, and if we don't fight him, many orphans will die. Valtara. Not the orphans. Va Valtara is going to roll insight on you for that. Wake is immediately friend of all children. Roll, just... roll me a deception. No, I don't like that roll or re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get to say that, AJ. Mm. Unless you're a halfling. <laughs> that is a four. A four? She calls her bullshit immediately. She, you just look at this angry, like, tri uh, Triceratops mom just looks down at you. Okay. I, I... Anyways, he's on his way, so. Anyways, you want to know what also is nice? As Michikaya looks over at you. Get me the fuck out of these chains! Oh, uh, I point at the crew. Uh, since I'm the new captain, would you go let him down? They, one of the, the kobolds spits in your face. Uh, that was a bad idea. That was, that was very rude. Can I have your key? Want me to take care of him? Holds up the Necro Star. Oh, that reminds me. Is the corpse of the other guy, the guy you killed, is yeah, he around? Yeah, he's, he's just right there. <laughs> Chromakill just goes over him and starts, What's a key look like? I'll find it. As he's going through the neck hole. Like, <laughs> <laughs> where, do you, where do people keep keys? <laughs> Normally on the belt, Chrom. It's pounding into a pulp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, the, on the belt Roll somewhere, Roll an investigation check, <laughs> Crazy time, guys. Having a great time on this shit, not gonna lie. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> it's just, just bones yeah, are no, starting no, to no, pop out. You grab, him by the, you grab him by the vest and start jostling him against the wall. <laughs> Where is the key? It's not It's not shaking loose. That's normally how I get things out of my folds. <laughs> <laughs> hitting different parts Ooh. of a body. He just lights a cigarette. This is fucking wild, man. <laughs> Wake looks over to the kobold. So he's gonna search you next. Do you want to give me the key? <laughs> Roll persuasion check with I advantage. Just, I was gonna say that's, like, yo, like that's intimidation. Intimidation. <laughs> intimidation, sure, why not? With advantage, you said. Yeah. All right. Just flailing this corpse around, this just <laughs> viscera and body parts. That is a uh, eighteen. Just Dark Souls ragdolling the door. <laughs> corpse just throws tink, at your feet. Tink. All right, cool. I oh, go. you got it. Drops the body. <laughs> <laughs> I go and I unlock Micha. You unlock everyone else. Yeah, I unlock everybody else and then wait for the crew to come over so that they can be locked in place. They agree. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> doot, doot, doot. Cobalt's a little small, so we just get them with the gnome cuffs. Just all right. They, just, they just like, they just, Cobalt just looks up at you. It was all just for getting paid. Uh, he followed. made it sound like it was a cult thing about a god or some giant snake something. We speak to the Yith, that's about all we do. Mm. You aren't speaking to me, by the way. Gotcha. Sounds like the captain was <laughs> doing a little Bless more you. than speaking. <laughs> Bless you, after shock. God damn you. Thank you. Myself. Sounded like the captain yeah, was they, doing a little more than speaking with they, the Yith. They, when, you <laughs> said, when you said something about a centipede, they like just all like looked at each other like, what the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Uh, Wake pokes at the... At the tattoo on one of the people that's chained up. The one, the one human. Stop that. 
This oh. isn't this isn't a threat or anything, but you seem actually confused. Is is this centipede not something that also happens to your tattoo? No, this is uh they they pretty much tell you that the tattoo is mainly there just to keep in contact with the yith. Anything else like that would have to do with the yith uh sign is a sign signal of corruption. All right, meanwhile, I don't think there's actually been a murder. But you saw a bloody body sink into the water. I did, but uh, upon reflection and diving into the water and swimming up a nondescript trap door, uh, it looks like it was a place that somebody who does not have fins could easily swim up to, grab, and pull themselves back into the ship. I also found a lot of prop... Well, basically, I pull out, like, a blood packet. I also found... Oh! oh my God! <laughs> wow, what? What's happening? I, I just, like, squeeze... This but ship I, I is just, cursed! <laughs> I just squeezed it over my heart Grover and I fall Gil. to the ground. <laughs> Grover Gill just pulls out his mace and is, like, heading towards the, the locked-up um, crew. <laughs> um, per performance check. Yeah, performance check. <laughs> oh, Wake is super hamming it up with the two. Oh, no! Does he normally do that? Ah, you guys hang out with him. I don't. What'd you roll? I found a. I, I rolled a two for my performance. <laughs> oh, okay. So okay. an unnatural one. <laughs> anyway, I found a bunch of this prop blood and stuff. So I think that guy might be faking it. He might be here somewhere. Another stowaway. What a dick. Yeah, but this one was actually part of the crew, and he's just really here to get everybody chained up so that they can sell all the rich people. It sounds like. Well, wait a minute. The beach kind of just looks at looks at AJ. Wait a minute. You were upstairs. Yeah. Then where's our money they took from us? I don't know, man. Could be somewhere. Immediate, the moment you say that, fucking, like, Teddy Schlord kind of just, like, goes upstairs. Oh, finally, I'm gonna go get my blueprints then. You do it. Oh, by the way, you, uh, the guy with the souls, right? What's your name again? Morgan, right? Yeah. Oh, I got something for you. He just calls it Rubblinger's in there. Found this upstairs and planted just this beauty, this, this ornate... Wicked looking blade. Anyways, I don't use swords. You hear you the moment he whips out that blade, you could hear a woman crying from the sword. This entice you? Just holds the necro star. It muffles it, but it's still crying. Mm. Morgan, there's a third voice. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Ugh. Can I see it? Yes, you can, but you should know what it's called. The AJ special. It hands it to you. The moment you touch it, I need you to roll me a 1d4. Tell me if it's odds or even. Oh, fuck. That's a 1, so odd. It's odd, all right. Ulfric is gone. <coughs> Replaced is a sobbing woman. You, have now, you now have the capability, if you hold this weapon, you can switch out Ulfric for the subclass of lust. <laughs> so we can like seduce enemies? Is that how that's gonna work? To be work? fair, oh, no. this is a charisma based class. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there by, are by in, in your in in his in his uh in the uh well oh god, spiritualist, there are subclasses <laughs> that change out rates. Uh huh. he has anger and the other one was hate and shame. Hate and shame. What was the other one in there that was lust, or am I getting that wrong? Hold on. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna let's delve here into the to the the primordial of man. The soul. home. So brood. there's hate, hubris, madness, shame, terror. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure I'm not missing. Yeah, I'm not touching that shit. <laughs> if there's if there's a lantern and jealousy. If there's jealousy. a lantern ring for it, there's a there's a thing. Okay, then I got that completely wrong, and I apologize. That is terror. So, oh Jesus, terror. You, you could switch out for terror. <laughs> oh, there's some good shit in here. You like that? You like that blade? Uh, That'll do. Can, can you do me a solid then? He just whispers in your ear. I want that Cyclops eye. I'll do fucking anything for that Cyclops eye. I just gave you a magical sword. I need that Cyclops eye. I've been waiting so long for a Cyclops eye. Give me that eye. Noisy elf doesn't seem to respect personal boundaries, a thing only I recently learned. Chromagill, this is a man of desperation. <laughs> it's true. You ever, you ever, you ever had a god cuck you? 
No. I don't know what that means. You have no idea. He knows what's up. You know what's I up. I should be dead. But yeah. Becker taunts me every damn yeah. day. Dude, I'm dead tired. Dead tired, man. That's what I am. Anyway, you said they were going to meet people to, yeah, to, we're to on do that a way. sacrifice? Yes, we're on that well, from way. From what you're saying, it sounds like they're going to meet us. Yeah. So looks, uh, at the, looks at the people. I've never driven a ship before. Have any of you? Perhaps we could divert course now that the captain is no longer hungry. I, old, I uh, have before. He ha you have before, but also... Because uh, right now, no one's piloting the ship. You, you, have, yes. ex you have an ex-Ledger main with you on board. Let's go speak to him. You, it's it's Kardak, Byford Kardak, the the retired dwarf. Hey, you know how this ship works, right? I I know how a ship works, lad. Well, I mean, this one in particular. It's an old navy vessel, right? Mm, anything Vorpal, I probably know about it, but oh, you're ask I have, you're asking a lot out of someone who tried to retire out of that game. I understand that, but we're on sort of a collision course with possibly cannibalistic uh, cultists. Well, we may want to change course. If I were to suggest that maybe we plant a ruse so we could surprise them. Ooh. Ooh, I could dress up as the captain. Sure. Yeah, that'd be fun. If the lot of you think you have some kind of wits and muscle and know it all to get rid of these creatures, as long as no one as long as anyone who wants to stay out of a fight stays below deck, we I'll, can keep I'll, them safe. All we need are a couple of people that look like they're rich. And Micha. Look, looks no, over at Micha. No. Hear me no, out. No. Hear me no, out. Micha! We put you in chains. Nice. They'd be unlocked. She'd be able to get out of you them. You just watched her tail like kind of like flicks up, and then when the moment when she said unchained, it kind of just like lowers down, like, go on. And when we go to show them, hey, this is, you know, we're we're here to sell you these people for your whatever the fuck mm. we're doing here. Okay. But now then Valtar looks at you. Okay, but then follow up question. How are they going how they're going to know something's different if they're supposed to be meeting up with these folk? Now, that's why I'm gonna dress up like the captain. Be right back. <laughs> I mean, all we need are all we need are those stupid tattoos, right? Wait. Bring the body. Oh. You're a crazy guy. I'm glad I'm hanging out with you. <laughs> so you bring the body downstairs. Yeah, I bring the body downstairs. <laughs> I hold the, up the mangled the moment, corpse of the first mate. This body? The moment the moment he does that, uh, Crow Miguel, I need you to roll me a perception check on the priest. Uh, 16. Or sorry, uh, 18. 18. Uh, da, 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 da. Hoop, boop, ba, doo, doo, doo. Sorry, I'm just getting this correct. Oh, here we go. Mr. Holger. Uh, he kind of just, like, looks over at the burnt flesh mark on the face. And he gives, like... He was just like bare, like bare basic, like uh, face before. He was just like, like very stoic and, ve but he was very zealous. But he was very stoic in how he uh, preached uh, the gospel of Kelpie. Mm -hmm. There is a visible fucking frown on this man's face. Like there is shame and anger in his face when he sees the mark. You seem alarmed. Is is something amiss? We're trying. We're all kind of doing this honesty thing so we can all be on the same page. Just, do you know something? Actually, I'm trying to practice deception. So <laughs> It's really useful. Uh, do you turn and look at him when you say that? Yes. If, if, he, if he is... At this point, Chromagill thinks everything's fucked to where he's like, all right, everyone on this boat has to be friends with us or we get them off. <laughs> so He turns and looks at, it, at you. He did not follow our guidance, and he used our... He, he used our guidance against us. I am glad he suffers, and I am glad he burns for it. Oh, he burnt for it, all right. Lit the motherfucker on fire. He turns and looks over towards the other crewmates, holds his hand out to them, and starts to clasp, and you watch as the tattoos on their face begin to return to just normal flesh, and they return onto his hand. Clasp them wriggles his hand and ash disappears where there were once the tattoo marks we probably could have used those but i'm just gonna minor illusion one on my face I'm oh, to be the i got this if i showed you what i truly was there would be far more problems he me. has like a tentacle i think i am a yith oh <laughs> wait wait just in aquan oh shit <laughs> indeed blub ah. blub indeed yeah blub blub indeed <laughs> 
Blub blub. <laughs> so you're the ones they were talking to? I felt there was something amiss, so those below had told me to come up here and disguise myself to discover what the cause of the issue was. Little did I know that the Onrush had some kind of hand that they were using our powers to sell, murder, and destroy the livelihood of others on the surface that would rather benefit from us. I'm just leaning over to Voltara. Do they normally look like that? She's writing furiously. <laughs> I don't know! Oh, okay. D are you gonna this try to see? Are, are you gonna she try to see? The, the, the fucking, yeah. The, uh, the sea elf turns and looks at you. This is a disguise, sir. Oh. I think she might want some of your blood. Is that allowed? She holds up a syringe. No. Don't let her take the blood. She'll just do it without asking. Perhaps if we had more knowledge of your people, such deception kind of motions towards the captain would be harder to pass. They pretty much spoke to you. Like, they've said about this the whole time. Like, uh, the Yith are psychic creatures that live in the abyss that are pretty much there to make sure, like, if you pray to them or you seek their guidance, they pretty much, like, usher you through darker waters and get you to safety. Well, Chromagill is more, like, trying to persuade, like, no, let her have a little bit of your blood. She is, she is a researcher who can tell people your actual story, so the liars like this won't <laughs> pop up or will have a tougher job deceiving others. He just shakes his head no. No, oh, okay. Can't make you do it. Meech is just, like, holding up vials. I can. <laughs> well, we probably shouldn't, so I guess what I more mean. We have a bigger problem at hand now. We have a whole bunch of folks who are just simple common folk, and we have what appears to be either a cult or some kind of demon on its way. Hey, so you said you had a plan. Looks over at Morgan. What do you got there, uh, Ghost So Boy? you brought the body down with Oh, me. yeah. So we're going to deal with this guy here. Just watch. Puts my hand on the body, and I use my last slot to cast Corpse Mask. <laughs> it is a ritual. First level transmutation ritual. Touching the corpse of a humanoid, you transform into the physical appearance, including clothing and armor and all belongings of the creature. Your attributes and traits remain the same, and it lasts for an hour. Um, basically, any target would have to make an intelligence investigation check against my spell save DC. Cool. So now there's a copy of the captain standing there. Not too shabby. Uh, is that That'll the work. The dead first mate? Uh, uh, AJ just takes off his jacket and uh, casts Minor Illusion to get this, uh, that symbol on the side of his face. Cool. And Wake's going to don one of those little raincoats that he found down in the... Uh, okay. That all the crew are wearing. Here so we go. This, makes the, this makes for three respectable... Uh, two humanoids. So the two humans, which are you two guys, and the captain. Mm -hmm. Human-ish. <laughs> well, the fact of the matter is, is that the first mate and the captain were dwarves. All right. And none so. of you are stout enough to pull that off. So for... I don't know. Eh. <clears throat> what you say we grew up? No. We have uh, a little bit of experience in combat, so if we have to go aboard their ship or find our way there, uh, under our ruse... Valtara has been going through the manifest as this has been happening. Uh, the... The entire point was to meet just before the exit of the canal. Uh, seeker ships would have been sent out uh, after dealing with a giant bronze dragon that has been blocking most of the demon army to be passing through. Ah, good old gore. Uh, no, they... violence and gore is scary. Nah, he's, he's a lieutenant. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, they, they were going to send out a smaller crew of ships and one general was going to meet with them to grab a couple of sacrifices and also to, uh, to, collect, uh, to collect any rewards, money, or whatnot, or to take away VIPs. Teddy Schlorg seemed to be one of the VIPs on here. They were going to use him to create new weapons for them. Well, we'll just say that we'll bring a sample aboard with us. And no, we'll they're, they're going to meet you, so they're going to surround the ship and come on board. Oh, that's more awkward. I saw you so much. You're looking great there, man. You <laughs> too. All right, let's just have him on. Let's jump him. Well, that seems to be the way we're doing it. I just Here's what you do. Ta say that you fired your old first mate and I took over. I mean, do they even know what oh, this they probably don't care. looks like? They probably don't care. They have a manifest, so they they this is the people that were they were going to meet with. Well, and uh, <laughs> Valtara actually looks at the list. She grabs you to the side, Wake. Uh, 
shows you a piece of paper. On the manifest, one of the people who was actually on the uh, on the docket is one Miss Faloon. All right, so they want her too. She I mean, shows, they seem to want everybody. No, she shows you the paperwork. She's part of the crew. Oh. Oh, she's been working with them. <clears throat> she's not here anymore, is she? She's there. Everyone's there. All right. But well. she did not. She didn't. She pretty much just like did not put herself with the other with the other captains because she figured she got away scot free. Ha ha. The only way to win is not play. No, All that's right, so just I'm, not I'm going playing. to continue that's... my little ruse and just kind of like grab like a couple of chains and like walk around like, Meet, are these gonna fit you? Like, uh. Roll a performance check. I'm gonna roll an insight for her. Well, I'll be good. I know you're stupid as fuck, Wake, but be socially good for one second. What is that? It's a 19, 18. Okay, cool. 18. She reads what you're picking up that you have something in mind, but uh, she just looks at the shackles and she like kind of like claps it around, not locking it, but she like. Uh, then, then, then I'm gonna say, um, actually, hold on. Maybe we can find another size. I'm gonna walk around the crowd by Miss Faloon. Uh, just like trying to get my way over to the crew and on my way by her, I'm going to clasp them around her hands while I walk behind her. That's fun, dear. Now take these off. Mm, nah. What do you mean, no? I start dragging her over to where the crew are like hanging by the shackles. She starts, begins to thrash. What are you doing? Yeah, you see, the funny thing is, uh, Voltar, I want to show everybody else what you showed me. She holds up the paperwork and shows the manifest. She's on the crew list. Tink. Yeah, it seems you're, uh, not on the up and up here. The, uh, Mr. Holger holds his hand up, and it's behind her back as her spine kind of, like, contorts to actually push towards him. Ash. That looks really unpleasant. She had a little yith tramp stamp or something. <laughs> it was in between her shoulder blades, Wake. Well, I mean, that's just a Rude. unnecessarily high one. Rude. Her physiology is different. We don't know. I don't know how you put a tattoo on somebody that's made of water. They're not made of water. I know. <laughs> that, that's the Hold com- on. That's the common misconception with Genasi, and that's why everyone's just like, I don't get it. Are they elementals, or are they just people that have water in them or whatever? They're, they have they're, they're, they're slime people. All right, so. Slime. You're technically not wrong. <laughs> so you haven't exactly been honest with me so far here. Uh, perhaps we got off on the wrong foot. Uh, I'm Wake. She spits in your face. Is this a greeting among your crew? I've seen it a lot. Apparently, I just... Ah, but in turn, I spit on the guy. Nice to meet you. Girl. I, I spit on the guy. <laughs> oh, one of the guys. <laughs> spits on one of the fellas. <laughs> oh, on the guy. Oh. One, two, and three. I thought, I thought you were spitting on Fei Loon. No, 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 no. I just spit on their legs. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, so at this point, you pretty much have discovered that the ships are on their way. You could get away, but that would arouse suspicion at this point. Uh, if that you... and AJ wants the Cyclops and uh, would no, actively please. fight against it. Yes, I will do uh, that. So you can meet the ships head on, and with the setting you have as of current, uh, you could. Uh, there are actually uh, shackles up on the top, like on the top uh, by where the uh, the vents were, where all the magic used to pour into. Uh, there are. Um, Manacles that you could actually slap onto people and keep them up on the top of the ship. Does this ship have cannons? Uh, no, it does not. It is not a weapon ship. Damn. But it does have magical vents, and you did not check the uh, the one of the cabins in the back. All right. So before we uh, do that, I want to see if we can weaponize any of the vents to see that if anything stands next to them, if we can like I don't know, do something, and then AJ, roll me a. Uh, uh, Arcana check with advantage. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, baby. That is a soft. Tw- oh, that is a soft 21. Ooh. Mm. Neato. Soft 21. Soft 21. I read that book. Mm. Uh, because they are decommissioned, if you apply. Uh, if you apply one kind of evocation magic on top of the metal. And actually, like, dabbed it with some kind of cloth, and then applied it onto something else. You could transfer, you could transfer that evocation onto the weapon. So you we can make weapons evocation. Uh, so pretty much like I was say, mostly trying to think if we could like booby trap them. You could. Uh, so what, what were you thinking? Well, basically, uh, 
in some way, shape, or form planning, like, uh, I guess that would just be a rune anyway, but some, some form of way to, like, say, if we could trigger something that if we tampered with a pipe and then triggered some mechanism, it might either, like, blow up with some sort of magic force or something like that, but that might take the whole ship with it. But, hey, I can swim. That's a history check to see if you can figure that out. All right. I do also have this smoke wand if we need a distraction. We got a nine. He's just sitting there, like, burning his own brain. Yeah, you're thinking mm. about it. You have no idea how to execute it, but so it's like, a cool plan, though. Uh, so, that, so the way this works is I can, like, I just... I rub- Use a fire. Uh, take, take a cloth. Rub, rub it? Rub it. Rub it on where the radiation was. Okay. Cast fire on the on the cloth and then drab it over a weapon. Ooh. Then it goes fire? Yep. It turns into fire damage. Come. Come to me, my ghost boy. You're going to love this. <laughs> I just do that. <laughs> now you got a flaming sword. Wake notices that and uh, he grabs like a rag, rubs it on there, uses his shock glove, mm. which has never come into play before, but I still have it. Hey. And it starts glove. applying that electric energy, if it works, to his daggers. Uh, I need you to roll me an Arcana check. Ooh, let me see if I can try that. <laughs> Your services are no longer required, oh, Glove. Yeah. <laughs> Natural twenty. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. You have a sh- yep. You have a shock dagger. I need everyone. I need everyone who's applying this shit to their weapons to roll me a one d four. Oh, I'm also applying it to my gun. Uh, you can apply it to your gun, so if you pistol whip someone with it, that'll work. Your ammo is another story. It's a one. Can I can I rub my? Can I just grab it and just rub it in some ammo? Roll me an athlete, uh, arcana check. Uh, yeah. D four. That is three. Three. That is. You have your weapon does shock for three turns. Yours does fire for one. Soft right. tw- soft twenty. Uh, soft twenty. In theory, I only need these daggers to do it for one turn each. Uh, you have a box of twenty bullets, and you used one on the uh, one guy, so you have nineteen. I'm going to roll something. Okay. This is fun. We're having a fun time right now. Fifteen of your rounds are now fire. <laughs> also, do you have the stats for the new blade? Uh, he... it's it is con- technically considered a short sword. A short sword. Okay. <laughs> Uh, instead of having like three rounds, ra- does uh, I'm sorry, sorry, uh, didn't I mean to interrupt? I was just asking. Instead of having three rounds of that one dagger, can I just have three separate daggers? Roll me one more arcana check with disadvantage. Disadvantage, okay. Fifteen or, all right, so that'd be a fourteen. Fourteen. Sure, I'll grant you each dagger is okay. One uh, charge. Yeah, just just yeah, just one of like just three daggers since yeah. it's I got the three on that. Yours is uh, basically uh, I said short sword, didn't I? I'm sorry. Yeah. It is a long sword. Okay, so yeah. it's very similar to the long sword. Okay. It is a long sword plus one. Okay, so exact same stats as what I got for yeah. my long sword plus one. Yeah. yeah. What was it called again? The actual official name. That's a good question because I actually fucking forgot to write that down. It's the, the AJ, AJ special. special. The AJ. That's sure. what you were told. <laughs> That's what you were told. Uh, Fuck it. Right. Wake's actually gonna walk over to AJ real quick. Hey, you uh, you know more about magic than I do. Yes. Do you know what these gloves do? Because I've been wearing them for a while and I don't know what they do. Are, they, are these the shock gloves? No, no, no. These are my uh, gauntlets that I wear for. Uh, you got Kelpie gauntlets, but you yeah, don't know Yeah, I got Kelpie do. gauntlets, but I have no fucking clue what they do, but I have a tune to them. AJ does this. Identify. Are you going to spend another point to do so? It's just a it's level a lo- one It's spell. a level one, so fuck yeah. So you have, so that's two, so you have one more level one. All right, cool. Uh, yes. These are, these are torrent gloves. They are part of a set. They are torrent gloves. They're part of a set, apparently. But, but what do they do? Uh, in water... In water. God damn it. No, like <laughs> Continue. <laughs> want me to stop? I'll stop. Uh, at least for now, anyway. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, Joke's yeah. done, joke's done. Uh, for now, they don't give you any actual AC bonus. However, that, that's only if you complete the entire set. That's However, fine. it does allow you... You can do a athletics check. Once a day, you could use water. If you're submerged in water, you could use an athletics check to push someone 60 feet while they're underwater. So just essentially send water rushing. Yeah, at so them it's, it's in pretty much direction. a shot gunning a torrent of water that you can push shoot, and pull people. You can shoot a water Kamehameha. So with my little water Hadoken, I have to be in the water and I can 
Can I fire that water like as like a in any direction? Okay, so I can fire it even out of the water. So I can make so a long fountain. as it so long as it goes beyond six. So long as it goes to sixty, it works. Okay. You have to be submerged though for it to work that way. That is fine. That's great. <laughs> Well, that's attack. good that I found that out for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have no idea how it works. Yeah, AJ just puts his hand on his shoulder. You know what? It's interesting. I don't normally bump into people twice when I do this. Very rare. I got lucked out this time. I was just going to nap. So uh, thanks for waking me up. Yeah, uh, no problem. Wake me up inside I, of a box. I don't know what happened to the other two, but wherever you're going, I hope you're successful. And, uh, yeah, they're... Uh, you know that city that uh, we were talking about that burned down? Oh, shit. Yeah, they uh, they were there when it happened. I. You weren't? No. No. Now I guess you were lucky. Pat's on the back and keeps walking. <laughs> hey, what's going on over here? Pat, lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the four ships enter in. Uh, a couple of hours have passed. They put all the passengers down below. Uh, Cleva is uh, going to... Cleva and, uh, funny enough... Yeah, I think Cleva should be watching these prisoners. Yeah, Cleva is going to be watching over people, uh, and so will Mr. Holger. Thanks, Mr. Holger. Uh, the the cap right now the ship is being manned by uh, Mr. Kardak, so he's the one making sure that the ship still <coughs> sails properly. Uh, you guys are standing on top of the deck, and uh, everyone else who's kind of staying out and keeping ready for combat. They are hiding in uh, nearby, like where the mast is. There's a couple of boxes in the way, so they're kind of just like keeping themselves inside the boxes or near the uh, the private quarters where Micha and everyone else slept. Micha, Micha, uh, Micha. With that, you guys watch as all the ships kind of like park on alongside of you. Small boarding parties begin to come up on board. Like they're very small, by the way. Like maybe five or two people on each ship because everyone else is still manned on the ships themselves uh, until finally one of the bigger ship that comes in you start you start hearing thunderous footsteps like they're actually shaking the ship as this thing is coming on board it is a very wide maybe like 20 by 20 person oh lord here he comes that's big mm, that's, like that's massive that's yeah. That is a mammoth piece. That, that's a one piece so scale size. Not just he does not, He does not have a head. It is just a body. No head is walking over, and he has a giant great axe slapped across his back. Where's his eye? The fuck's his eye? Oh, shit. His his shirt is open. Like he has like an open shirt, so like the vest is kind of like spread up, so it shows his stomach. The eye is his. The stomach. eye is where his stomach is. Oh fuck, that's weird. And then a mouth grows underneath it. Oh man, he's cranging super hard right Damn now. Damn, you beat me to it. <laughs> he, lo he looks over to you since you are the captain. Where are the rest of the prisoners? Below deck. Excellent. And I, I mistakenly made him a yith sounding man, but fuck it, we're going with this now. Commit, damn it. <laughs> Commit. Commit. Commit to, to yith. Uh. Very well, you've done good. Is there anything else on the manifest I should know about? Not that I'm aware of. The crew did their job. I only see two. Where are the rest? Things got crazy, but everyone's chained up. I'll In get some. Insight versus deception. Insight versus deception. Deceive? Um, yeah, you, you, you throw deception at him. Well, shit. That's a six. Oh, boy. That's okay. Well, no, it's not okay, because I just looked at this guy's stats, and he has bigger stats. What Boys. kind of problems? I made a mistake, sir. Uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the people got broke out and didn't want to be chained up and then uh, uh, stabbed uh, one of the guards. Which one? You want to roll an intelligence check to remember what was on the Trying to out? remember. He's like, how far away is Chromagill right now? You are 60 feet away at this point. Okay, I'm not hearing this. Never mind. The intelligence check, you say? Yep. A history check, pretty much. History. Oh, thank God. for that. Where's history on this thing? Bad boy. That is a 15. 15. <laughs> you 
are currently Yardley Cold, and our good friend Wake here is Simon Skarn. The other person that could have possibly died would have been either Nelda Feloon or Randolph Dreen, one of the other dwarves. Randolph Dreen died. Roll. Stabbed right in the neck. Roll deception with advantage. Thank you. Good call. Oh, it's a four. Or. Oh, my fucking God. Was that a seven or a 17? Shit. I don't. I think I'm going to roll, but. All right, we'll go with that one. Uh, that is. What is that? Oh, I have no plus deception. That's just a seven. Flat seven kind of like leans in like so instead of like because there's no head he doesn't lean his top half over to you he leans his gut into you beef where's the body so that I may have it the sea took her deception advantage that is a 14 you beat him out Well, the Infernal Carp will have them, I suppose. Very well. Bring forth the hostages. Bring forth the hostages! Wake goes back and pulls up uh, Micha in chains. Micha now, like, looks and sees what's going on. She, like, looks to you and whispers, Okay, no, I changed my mind. This is a really bad idea. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And as we... Uh, so Chromagill and, and, uh, and Valtara are hidden in boxes right now. Yeah, as we walk up to the... Call him a Cyclops. It's pretty yeah, much what he is. The, the fat Clops. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wake Belly is clops. basically just going to be, this is the first one. And he is immediately going to stab it in the goddamn stupid face with his uh, with his uh, trident. All right, roll the hit. All right. Combat time! Yep, now we in combat. And we started out, Jesus, what a night for this. A nat 20. <laughs> nice. You're going to say you got him. I think so. AJ, bring me a tie. <laughs> I will try. Yes, Wake. <laughs> I'll try not to damage Don't you. damage the eye, boy. I need it. Remember that scene from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, yeah. the court scene? Bring me the eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> George R.R. R. Martin. No, that wasn't R.R. R. Martin. That was... uh. That was a that was a director. It was uh, Ooh, damn. Peter Jackson. No, 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 no. no. He was actually because he's a big fan of it. He uh, Guillermo del Toro. Oh, Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. By, the way, <laughs> by the way, that is uh, sixteen damage. <laughs> Holy shit, that's really nice. Yeah, as I stab this boy right in his mouth, face. Stab at thee. His tum gum. I don't know. <laughs> and then Meech's shackles face. crackle to the ground. <laughs> okay, now I need everyone to roll initiative. Yay. I have plus three. Does that mean I add plus three to my initiative roll? Yes. Yay. I got a 18. Good. Six. All right, so you brought uh, me I got a, I got a six as well, damn it. So I think you have higher decks than me. I get plus three. You said you liked color red, yeah? Am I crazy? I have plus three. I love the color red, yeah. All right, so you are over here then. This is you, this is you. <laughs> I activate my magic this, tablet. And this is Micha behind Wake. I got a 17 in my initiative. All right, so I should double. Hold on, let me let me double check on everyone's thing. Okay, so, Taka, what'd you get? I got a six. Six. All right. Nick. Uh, I got an eighteen. Eighteen. Right now, uh, what what is this thing in? I guess. Uh, yeah, since we have the combat map pulled up now. Yep. Uh, what what is this thing in front of him? Is that like a wall or? Uh, that was the. Uh, that's the piping. Okay, oh. so I'm just standing on that, I guess. Yeah, I don't have, I didn't have metal piping, so we're, gotcha. just, we're gonna have to like, you know, theater of the mind that a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, you, know. you, no, you gotta buy a lot of tile sets. I've I've spent quite a bit on roll twenty for making All right, shit. Uh, Brian. I rolled a six as well. Six. So uh, Taka and me are tied for initiative. Uh, two, fing two fingers. Two fingers to move the two fingers. map. Also, hold on. I'm fucking trying. <laughs> oh yeah, hold on. So yeah, we gotta break the tie. Oh uh, yeah, uh, I got I got sixteen uh, decks. So you can, you guys can choose amongst yourselves who wants you to break the tie. You go, you go first. Okay. Morgan. Yeah, there you go. So Thanks, two fingers Nick. will move the map for you, and then you just tap your Thanks, guy and drag him. Nick. Grant. 17. 17. 
And now let me roll for Micha and Valtara. What happened to the big die? Here it is. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. All right, Micha. Micha's actually getting to go first. Oh, nice. Fast kid. She's a cat. Or Plague Dr. Cat. Plague Dr. Cat gets to go first. Dr. Cats. <laughs> Valtara, where is this burst of speed coming from? Because she's just below uh, Micha. It's that adrenaline rush. All right. Science. Now for big boy, I'm gonna have him go last. He just got stabbed in the fucking yeah. mouth. He just got stabbed in oh the face. Oh my fucking <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Right, bad guy. One. Bad. How many turns is one minute in combat for you? Uh, it's six? It, each. Uh, it would be ten, wouldn't it? Because each round is six seconds. Right. Okay. Ooh, bless you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I got, a, I got a fun spell I want to use. Oh, I can use three of these. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I have a fun way to actually make, be able to get all this initiative going, so... Let me just, <laughs> Yay, let me fun ways! Goon, goon one. This is going to be fun. I got some fun abilities I never got to use last time, last, time we, last time we played. Mm -hmm. and I got a couple of them still, because building this character was... The fun thing about building this character with Zito was... So it was like, how about this ability? Nah, it's too useful. <laughs> <laughs> this man is cursed and doomed with bad magic. He's a transmutation magician who can't use transmutation okay, magic. Okay, so I should describe who all these people are, the little goon folks. The goon our, folks our scary, here... Are scary skeletons? Uh, they're all tieflings. Okay. They're all demons. Are they all wearing death masks? No, they are not. Okay, they're not chaplains. It's okay, we're fine, guys. <laughs> all right. Uh... You know, I'll just have them go dead last, just to bypass everything, because you got them on a surprise round. So, uh, Micha gets to go first. Light them up! Kitty. <laughs> bop, 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 light them up. Bop, bop. I'm on fireball. <laughs> Kitty has an ability called Blood Siphon. Kitty. Meow. Meow, 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 meow. You just watch as Micha kind of like sees the gaping hole that you just created. Yeah, I just forked reaches, his tongue. She opened. She opens up her. Uh, she opens up her paw, and you watch as like the uh, the pads on her paw, like all of a sudden, just like expand and then like grow like this weird purple ethereal energy. Slams her paw right into this dude's face, and when she pulls back, she like reaches her claws in. So I'm gonna go to hit. She hits. So big. How can you miss? <laughs> He's a big that's, boy. That's fair. Grabs him. Digs her paw into his flesh, pulls back out, and it takes more blood than it did going in. Ah, it's creepy. I love it. And Ew. she gains. So this is two d four necrotic. Red is like perfect. Two. One. I'm a genius. Two d four necrotic. So blah 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 blah, and she oh gains temporary hit points. That's good shit. All you all guys' characters are great. I love it. And she on she's going to as a bonus action because of her ability she's just like meow, 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 meow. yeah she she uses her uh, she's actually gonna she can't do this actually I just realized it she's going to disengage and get the fuck out of dodge. It's okay it's like a Dark Souls boss fight. She, right now. She's a healer she is hit not roll, an attacker. Hit roll. Hit roll. She's got to get those invincibility frames. Dodge going. rolls. So she's gonna move over towards. Uh, the, she's gonna turn over towards the wizard, considering that he might be the squishiest one out of everyone. Considering <laughs> you're just a fucking, you know, garbage, a walking garbage bag at this point. There, there we go. Get behind the wizard. That's how you tank. Yeah, the, the get, yeah she'll get behind the wizard. Uh, so I need to roll for this big boy to open attacker. She, he, wow, are you fucking real? You have a, you have a very high extra plus to your attack rolls and you get that number. Holy shit. She dodges. Okay. Good. Uh, now Valtara's turn. Unfortunately, Valtara is all the way over here. <sighs> I'm coming. <laughs> uh, also, by the way, just to know that the mast... Uh, it's that's something just, you go under? Yeah, you, it's something you go under. Okay. But we can we cannot show that, though, unfortunately. It's too... It's too... It's too real. No, so, it's honestly, it's too sexual. It's enormous. So, so fucking. You can't so, go under mast. So all of a sudden, Valtar just like Superman jumps over the fucking mast. <laughs> 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 Only if she does the landing. Just, <laughs> yeah, I do that. 
Yeah, she's Superman, Superman lands. Remember, if you cock your fist, you do triple damage. Mm. Roman I can fly. Rules. I can fight. Uh, that's 30 for Valtara. Let me look at her spells. Oh, she has a light crossbow. That works. She'll just shoot the motherfucker. She'll focus fire on the big boy. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. God bless you, my son. She hits with a 1d4. No, that's that's Micho. What am I doing? I want to start playing that battle music from the first ever One Piece battle. Bam, 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 bam. For three points back of damage, was, unfortunately. Dun, 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 mm, back when it was good. Hey, that first v- episode of Ad Guy is still around. <laughs> she True. hangs out with Bucky. Yeah. All right. Who's next? That is... She got the smooth, smooth fruit. Oh, this Nick, slip. you are up next. All oh, right. Slip or smooth, smooth? Uh, slip, slip. Wake still in this guy's she, she, face. She, 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 she wants to is just going to... Yeah, basically this guy this guy's the biggest threat right now until the others prove otherwise. He's going to attack him with the spear... T- uh, and a kick. So that is a you doing the move? twenty-five to hit for the first one. Twenty-five to hit. Yeah. Uh, that will hit. I need you to roll me a Constitution saving throw. He is procking a legendary action. Oh, oh fuck! He's got legendary actions. Con save. Wake's strongest suit. Uh, 15. 15? So, this guy has an ability. At every 24 HP he loses, he throws up blood. Oh! All right. So, I'm at least going to do the damage that I hit him with, right? Yeah. Oh, you're, you're still going to hit him. That's okay, not cool. the problem. That's not the problem. It's just, Got that, it. it's just oh. that any damage you would have dealt to him now oh, okay. we'll would have put him over that. That's, that's dope. So, I need... I need everyone in a cone, so he is there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I need everyone except for Morgan. Wow, it goes all the way back to Chromagill? Yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm no, no everyone up to Valtara. I'm oh, sorry. okay. Valtara. Wait, I gotta roll a con save? Yep. Oh my god. I, I, uh, damage, by the way, while that's being calculated for my yes. first attack, is uh, seven. Seven? Oh, I'm sorry, eight, because it's eight. a plus one spear. Fifteen. All right. Fifteen? Yeah. Did you uh, roll for con real quick? It was quick? a fifteen. Fifteen? Oh, you don't have no, to. No, I don't. Uh, I, I was just for, out of the I range. I got to roll for Micha and for Valtara. Micha succeeds. Valtara fails. All right. Uh, did those of us, uh, like, did we succeed? Yeah. Everyone, okay. Everyone else succeeded. All right. Like Campbell's soup just Wait. Can't explodes. Mmm. <laughs> Juicy. Ew. All right. Juicy. Oh, still take sh- still take half this damage. I'm guessing. You're taking half of it. Yes. Okay. Oh my Christ. Well, that's that's how most saves work. All right. He rolled three ones, but also rolled two sixes <laughs> and a five. Ah. ah! My joke. Well, we need a pen. So, we'll need a pen here. Something Almost. Mm. Ouch, twenty. So twenty. So you take ten. Those right. who fi- those who succeeded only take ten. Oh, thank God. <laughs> ten necrotic damage. However, Valtara is taking the full brunt of twenty. Oh God, she's a wizard. Yep, she's oh taking full twenty. We gotta turn him around. <laughs> she is at like half wow, HP the right Move now. The cone that Yikes. Way. She is at half HP, <laughs> and she is feared. If you get knocked into the whelps. Oh no. <laughs> this is a fifteen. All right. Yep, she is feared. You have just lost your combat wizard. Oh. Well, uh, Wake is going to, like, he has no time to pay attention to anybody else behind him, so he's going to continue going. He uh, goes for a kick straight to the eyeball. That is a modified 20 to hit. Okay, that hits. Boink. All right. Oh, my eye. Uh, eight damage. Okay. And following it up with his final spear attack. That is a 19 to hit. That will fail. Oh, shit. High AC on this. High AC on this fat boy. You do hit him. I'm just going to say this. You do hit him. It just grazes his skin. It grazes his skin. Gotcha. 
The boy is resilient. Notice he's, he's a tough boy. Sticky, sticky. Oh. Haha, uh, uh -oh. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> the mouth just like, it's bigger than your body. It just goes from like blank little flat, flat line to. Oh, I've been stabbing it. He's got canker sores for days with what I've been doing. <laughs> oh, in hell there. yeah, he does. Uh, next is yeah, Grant. All right. Uh, you said Voltara has been hurt real bad. Is Voltara that? is at half HP and is feared. All right, let me see. I know I move slower than most people, so let me do some mental math here. Yeah, that's... Not, I did not move, mean to move that. Uh, all right, so one, two, three, four, five. Gets me here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use... Warden's recovery on Voltara. Uh, action on a turn to spend a number of hit die uh, up to my con modifier uh, and add uh, add my con modifier to each roll. Uh, people I touch or me will regain this much health. Uh, I can only use this once before a long rest. The mushroom so, is a healer. So I'm just going to be like, hey, you look fucked up and you're supposed to be real strong. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so I'm going to need some detents. Come on, it's time. <laughs> Scatter! It's on the game. Uh, you have to be mad. Here, I got another D10 for you if you need it. Yeah. That's the new mantra. <laughs> it's on the uh, game. Why you have to, to be mad? mad. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. I'm putting that on my soundboard. If I play Sekiro, every time I die, son of a... It's on it's the on game. game. <laughs> Why you have to be mad? Don't worry. Uh, okay. So just Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Eight. Eight. So that will immediately heal 11 and... So four, so seven, so that's eighteen altogether. Uh, get this last one, just Very to get nice. the last one. Uh, yeah, that should put her back up to full. Yeah, that'll yeah. be a nine. She's, so she she's topped up. She's back up to full. Can't do anything about the stat or the status on her, but she she is not. Hurting. Uh, you technically can, but it would be more of a skill check. Hmm. Uh, well, that that used my uh my action. Uh, but for a bonus action, I'm also going to uh. Cast Warden's Fire on this giant uh, Cyclops fella. Uh, for this, it's creature within, th or, oops, sorry, read the wrong thing. Uh, creature within 30 feet is now wreathed and glows. It cannot hide, gain advantage attack rolls, or become invisible until I use this skill again or fall unconscious. Awesome. That's awesome. He is marked. I'm going, to, I'm going to place that, actually. He's glowing. Yeah, and uh, I'm gonna put this rage. on top of him to show oh, no, that he's got dots. Throw more dots, more dots, more yeah. dots. So he can't. A 15 he can't GPK take advantage, minus. hide, or be invisible. <laughs> Alrighty, is that your turn? Uh, yes, that'll that will end my turn. Next Absolutely. up is Brian. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna use my. Uh, basically, I'm using all six of my ectoplasm points to get my spell slots back, and I'm going to. I'm gonna use a chromatic round and shoot the boy. What's the damage gonna uh, be? Okay, so it was acid, lightning, thunder, fire. Fire, and I think it was those were only four. Yeah. Let's do. No, 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 no. It's every, it's every it's single. Every, so, yeah. So yeah. Let's, everything, everything except for necrotic and uh, radiant. 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 Okay. So in if that's the case, I'm gonna do poison acid. I think is what you were going for. Yeah, poison acid. Okay. So I'm actually gonna uh, try. Uh, I'm actually gonna try poison, actually. So let me just see if I can actually hit the guy first. Yep. Natural 20. That hits. Oh! Okay, and I that hope. was. Can't hit harder than that. Yep. And what that a nat 20s tonight. Holy shit. Shit, I'm sorry. The were two D8s for chromatic yes. orb? Yes, that'd be four D8s. Oh, yeah, because I crit. Because you crit. Okay. Blast! There's Thanks. a second one for you. Right. So you can just do that twice, I guess. So that's eight and a two. Ten. A five and a six. So Jeez. 21. All right. Uh, I need everyone to roll con save again. You reach 50. Uh, oh. Am I in this cone now? Am I yep. close enough? No, no, actually, no, you're not. You're just out of it. Yeah. And I'm, don't and, worry, and don't worry, Voltara. Okay. Got you again. <laughs> no, I can't. Diamond. I can only do that once. <laughs> you're safe. You take half. Okay. 21. You take half. Yeah. Uh, Valtara and. I love this dice. Mitya. Oh, Misha, you rolled a nat one. Oh, no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> Maybe I should have saved that heal. Baltar rolled a three. Who did? Shut up. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so now it's time to roll the damage. Oh, God. Any we more? need a scatter. 
Yeah, no, there's a reason when I saw them, like, I'm not going to move. Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah wait, it, like, one thing Wake was going to do was, like, uh, I forgot to do this, but with his move, he was going to circle around behind him so that at least he would have turned yeah. away from everybody. Uh, Get aggro, turn boss other way, away from party. This is standard WoW blah, blah, braid boss St tactics. Stand Nin standard. So 19, so it's going to be... Round it up, so another 10. Up. Yep, so 10. <coughs> so another 10 damage. Damn, I'm down, to, I'm down to 11 HP. My skills work best if I am within Ready, stop melee... Him. If I'm within melee range of someone attacking my friends. <laughs> and Micha, unfortunately, is going to take all of this. So oh, for God's sake, she Micha. Takes she takes 19, so does Valtara. Valtara is back down to a little bit above half. There you go. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Ever, ever it just... looks like you're in the splash zone. Oh. Let me help you. Oh, no. Is, I can is this ability called so splash zone? Is this ability called splash zone? Sure, why not? Fucking splash zone. Uh, Micha is doing very terrible. She's only at 10 HP. Okay. Uh, they are both feared, and since Valtara is more feared, I need to now roll something for her since she rolled a nat one. She's so scared. I'm so but she's, scared. But she's so big and strong. It's only game. Why, Why you have, have to splash? Be scared? <laughs> it's only game. Why you have to be scared? Mm. I still have my extra attack. Oh, and I have she moved. rolled a ten. That's the worst kind of number. <laughs> uh, in some, in somebody's mind. <laughs> Well, remember how I do criticals? Yes. Criticals, lower numbers are the worst results. Yeah. She rolled a 10. She just has a heart attack. It just <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It's like the, now she's the Triceratops in the beginning of Jurassic Park, just on the ground. Oh. Mama? Mama? Uh, it's a Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to roll something again for her real quick. Hmm. Okay. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> she is looking about the battlefield with a fucking horror, like, a immense fucking sensation of horror is washed on her face. It is completely visible as she's now looking at herself covered in blood, trying to get it off and tearing at her own skin while doing so. Oh, she's got some she PTSD now here. is afraid. She now has a phobia for blood. Okay, that's fair. That ah, like we a... darkest dungeon to this shit. <laughs> yep. Seems like a great. Tough you now fear blood. A tough tough phobia for a doctor. You're not scared. <laughs> You're not scared. <laughs> ah. Stop being scared. Ah. Learn. <laughs> Valtara attacks herself. <laughs> oh no. With, oh boy, this is fun. Yeah, she like she kind of like looks at the blood trying to get it off. She can't get it off because it's constantly fucking just like there because of the crippling fear that's going on in her. So she uses her own horns to rend it. <laughs> Oh, ugh. guys, this guy's fucked up. This is bad. I know. Yeah, this is bad. I, can we move this everybody? I'm trying to kill him. Uh, Stop trying to kill him. It's making it worse. She is so unstable that she couldn't even hit herself, so she takes no damage. Yay! Hooray. Good job, Voltara. Stop being scared. Learn. Learn. Uh, all right, Taka, you're up. Hold on, I still have. Oh, because I have extra attack, but I also haven't moved. Like I just straight yeah, up just that, attack. Yeah, that was that was just because of the legendary action. So go ahead. Right, I just straight up move. So I, give me a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Ha, cha cha cha. Nice. Oh, yeah. Stinky Pete. No, anyways, um, jeez Louise. Uh, um, okay. I already I already got my spell slots back. I haven't moved. I'm debating if if I want to do Forsaken Chains in case this guy starts moving around when we back up. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay, casting a spell is also an attack, so that can go for my extra attack, right? Yep. Okay, and I still can move, because I haven't moved. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna move... Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah, you gotta tap it to move. I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna use my highest spell slot Ooh. on Forsaken Chains on him. So there's five... Ethereal chains on him. So so for every five feet, he's gonna take one D twelve per chain. That's good. And I'm like, move away! <laughs> Maximum chains! <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, just I'm moving I'm backing up. Can he not move like, now? Well No, he still he still can move, but he takes damage every time he does it. Oh, now boy. I feel obligated to not be here. That that's why I'm like I'm trying to help here. <laughs> And that's my turn, so now it's... 
Okay, how many times? How many? How many I can't, forgive me. How many spells can I cast a turn with this character? Uh, it, you can cast one spell that's an action, and then a cantrip if it's a bonus action. All right. Um, AJ is going to cast. In looking at this, all the chaos, cast haste upon wake. What does haste do? I don't think I've ever been under the effects of haste. Oh, you're going to love this. <laughs> haste. Make haste. Uh, concentration up to one minute. It's a concentration. So choose a willing creature that you can see within range until the spell ends. The target speed is doubled. It gains a plus two bonus to AC. It has advantage on dexterity saving throws, and it gains an additional action on each of its turns. Oh, that fuck. action can be used only to take can only to take the attack, one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object action. When the spell ends, the target can't move or take actions until after its next turn. Okay, so I can use that additional action to engage or disengage yep, or yes. attack. Yeah, awesome. pretty much. Ten, and that is ten turns you're going to have that for. So it just but does then on that eleventh turn, you can't do nothing. He just, he just does this and goes, mm, like, like cranking the dial. That does go away if your concentration breaks. It's true. So for Wait, my, did everything just slow down? You see, the, you see Valtara like clawing at their arm in slow-mo. Wake's just freaking out. What is this stuff? <laughs> And then there's AJ in normal time. Hey. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's gonna be fat. Once I drop, once I stop casting this, I'm gonna be slow too, so enjoy the speed boost. You're gonna be a goddamn god here. Hold on, I got one more. What's the range of prestidigitation? 60 feet. Can I do prestidigitation to her so she stops clawing at herself? How do you do this? Just blood just away! <laughs> oh, you're knocking the blood off her. Just Because I see her freaking out, right? Yeah. She starts screaming and shit, so he just does, I just do this. As I move, I'm also gonna move. Can I? Can someone move my character? Yeah, we, we want to move. go. Move, move me to the left. I just wanna like just left about forty feet. There we go. Just like, and I just forty feet. So this uh, is like, like twenty feet. Like there we go. Just move me here. I'm out of the splash zone. I just look at her and I do this. Bah! And a big clap and <laughs> just slats all the blood off her. Roll me a persuasion check with advantage. Thank you. You're persuading the blood off of her. No, persuading her to calm the fuck down. Huh? Oh, there we go. Uh, my persuasion. That is 22. You clap the blood off. She looks up at you. She's like try, She's like holding her chest, trying to breathe. All right. Well, I hope I helped out a little bit there. All right. That's it for me. She's still afraid of the big bad, but she can still act in combat now. <laughs> All, right. All right. Now we're up the list. Mm. Oh, okay. Has a bonus. One more bonus action real oh. fast. What up? Scatter! <laughs> also, remember, I chose, I chose poison as the damage type yeah. for the chromatic orb. Yes. So it's poison damage, but there's no dots on that for poison? Or it, does he just get the, uh, where's that thing on the sheet? The condition of just being poisoned? Oh, no, that doesn't happen. That's just It just counts as poison damage. Oh, okay. yeah, I think, oh, yeah, so I think it's, it's just flavor. Kind of, okay, it's okay. flavor. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, unless like you like, discover this one thing has like, oh, fuck, it really hates lightning. Boom, lightning. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think there are probably like enemies that are like weak to poison damage okay. or resist poison damage. All right. so. Kind of reminds me of the, of the bullets from Outlaw Star. A little bit, <laughs> a little bit yeah, don't yeah. they? Uh, Except they don't hurt. All right. Used poison well, now it's big boy's turn. Hi. He sees there's a giant target right in front of him. I'm not that big. He takes his great axe. Why are you so? Hands it right in front of himself. <laughs> Why are you so slow? <laughs> his tongue, his mouth opens and the tongue takes the axe. That's it now acts as a third arm. That's fucking weird. Shoot her! The tongue goes for a sweep with the great axe. What is your AC? Uh, Plus two now. Yeah, it's 19. He rolled a two. You just go. Eh. What are you doing? I just, ju I just, I walk over the axe. Tink, tink, tink. Step on the other side. All we saw was just a blur, and you were on the other side of the axe. Man, haste is awesome when it's on someone who can use it. He's faster than I remember. Uh, uh, roll ultra an instinct way. Roll an athletic check as he goes to grapple. Uh, I'm going to go with acrobatics to slip out of that shit. Uh huh. And <laughs> I get. Do you say I get advantage? You get on an advantage on oh, that. Oh fuck. That is a 20, uh, 26. You're lucky you have that because with the 22, he almost got you. <laughs> Grab for me. Slip. What is going on? Then you remember what okay. he gets. All right, he's done. He's, he's getting fucking upset now. Now he just goes, all right, well, obviously, I guess this is going to have to happen. His eye turns blood red. 
and it forms in front of him as sparks of energy start to orb right in front of the eye. I should probably get out of the way of that. Beam. Uh, and unfortunately, Wake and Voltara are right in the way of it. Damn it, Voltara! She's scared. So what do I roll? I need you to roll me a deck save. With the advantage. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. With thank advantage. God, thank God. Thank God. Real quick, uh, just while, while they're con calculating this, uh, how does your chains on him work again? Um, every f every five feet of movement, a chain breaks and deals 1d12. I got really? A, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, we've got some synergy. Exactly. Because I'm going to go. move this boy when my turn comes up. Uh, I got oh, a actually, classes. right now. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I got a modified 20. Modified 20? <laughs> Wait, what? what? He has a plus 10 on it. You said it was a save. Oh, right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Jesus, that scared me. I was like, Fuck, I'm sorry. I, I looked at the damage numbers. Jesus. Oh. Okay. Huh. No, you are fine. Okay. I was like, <laughs> what? Voltara. Did you uh, just matrix dodge that? Yeah, you did. I mean, I, I no matter what, even if I did have to Oh, block you know what I did? I rolled for Voltar's gotcha. roll and I saw it as the damage. Gotcha. I'm an asshole. I'm I, sorry. I was going to say, even if I, even if that was a DC 30, I still would have made it because I have a ring of evasion. Yeah. So 13 plus. Yeah, wake his ultra instinct right now. Dun 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 Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, that procs Warden's Retribution when a creature that you've read, uh, that you can see within 60 feet attacks a creature. I can choose to use Warden's Fury or War Warden's Grasp. I'm going to use Warden's Grasp, uh, which means I do have to make a melee spell attack. So I'm going to swing at him here. But if uh, it's. How? You're all the way back there. Well, it's. A, Quiet. It's, if the. If it's. Uh, make a melee spell attack, does that mean I have to be within. You melee have to be, yeah, you you have have to be, be in front of him. Shit. Because it's within, it says within ten feet of. Oh, okay, that's that's fair. All right, never mind. I can't do it yet. Damn it! It sounded so fun. It did. It, it, it did. But unfortunately, I'm just gonna take a couple steps closer, and then I'll be able to do it. Is Volterra gonna go extinct? What killed the dinosaurs? Open the, open a the, cyclops. Open the door. Get on the floor. That dinosaur is dead. That dinosaur is no more. She, okay, so. Did she just get like black and whited? Like, did, did she no, just? No, she just has three <laughs> HP left. <laughs> she has three HP left right oh my now. Okay, Limp so away. She, this is. So she's like, so she's like sell after the final flash. It's just. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah, pretty much. She has so many third degree burns on her right ah. now. Ah. kill just standing there. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that almost hit you. You could feel the energy just pulse off that. It hit the mast. The mast is falling over. I, I just see that comedic, like, light shine. Hmm. <laughs> what? And he's going to chuckle, and he doesn't know anything about the chains right now, so he's going to move 10 feet. So that's two d twelves. Two yep. chain. Two chains. Wait, that's uh, fifteen. I'm sorry. Fifteen. It's, it's it's per chain, isn't it? For, for there's five chains. Uh huh. And every five, five feet, 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 a chain breaks and deals one d twelve. Oh, okay. So you said fifteen. So three chains snap. So that's three d twelve. Oh, does he also take an attack of opportunity from Wade? He does, but let's get this first. Okay. That's a ten. <laughs> Another ten. <sighs> Jesus. And a three, so 23. All right. All right. I need everyone to roll a con save. Just he broke 75. I, I will say, like, it, it, as he's breaking those chains, he would also take my attack of opportunity before that applied, yes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So in case I get feared somehow, uh, that is a... That's got to be a hit. Well, yeah, that's a... I'm not in the splash zone now. Yep, you're okay. out. You're not in the Yee. splash zone. I'll, yeah, because uh, I moved over to the right, too. 25 to hit. 25, that will hit. As I stab at the... With a, plus this is intense. Thirteen damage. So yeah, he's definitely over. I'm the just limit. picturing the electric fence from Jurassic Park sound. That. All right, con save now. Fun times. Yep. Am I in the splash zone? No, for you this? were not. Okay. He moved back. Yeah, he backed up. So. 
Uh, 17. 17. Also, is he close enough to any of his compatriots that is he blasting them? No, he's not. Okay. It's a fairly narrow cone. It's a narrow it's, cone. Okay. It's a long cone. Gotcha. Unfortunately, Wake is in the tail end of that cone. So. <laughs> God damn it! Uh, I couldn't outrun it. You're taking half damage. Yep. Dude, legendary. A dude, this is why you don't fuck with the onrush. This is bad. Yeah, how this many legendary actions do they have? Even dragons only have three. Well, it's a legendary action that every 24 damage. Ah. So he has the one legendary action, but it stacks. It, pr it procs uh, every pers every milestone of yeah, HP. That's crazy. Yep. This guy's bad news, man. I I've I've had fun cooking this boy up. Finster over here in his monster lab just making things. <laughs> I don't blame you. I love making homebrew shit. Dun, 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 dun. Taka can attest 19, to that. That's true. 19, 19 half of that rounded down. damage. Yep. Jesus. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> okay, how is Mr. Cyclops looking after all this, though? Not phased at all. Oh, <laughs> fucking. What? And he's got a crew. Like, I... Let's not forget that there are yeah. Six now it's their other turn. Enemies. Yep. And now it's their turn. Guys, you're level six. You should. This is bad. This is big shit. We just nuked him with seventy-five points of damage. Uh huh. No, nuking to us is like a. All right. Yeah. So. And then we and then we uh, melted him before that with even more. <laughs> like he's taken over a hundred damage so far. I think. No, he's taken uh, eighty-nine. Okay, close to hundred damage. Close to hundred damage. All right, so Misha, gonna roll for your AC. She dodges nimbly as the guy comes at her with a, the Tiefling comes at her with a sword and completely misses. Second boy, gonna also come after Misha. Oh, that's me, actually. I'm right. Oh, oh, that's AJ. That's Aji. That's AJ. Oh, that's right. I apologize. Gosh. So AJ, first, I need you. What is your AC? Uh, thirty. No, your AC. Very nice. Thirteen. <laughs> uh, that first one missed you. Yay! That first one was a two. Okay. There, there was no fucking way. Uh. It matches. So that hits. That hits. Ow! So that is... She comes at you with a scimitar for... Seven points of damage. Down to four HP. Jesus. All you right. You have to make a concentration check now, don't you? Yep. Now this guy comes down to attack... Uh, to attack Bicha. Bicha dodges out of the way, no problem. Uh, okay, now this guy over here, how much space does he have? He doesn't have enough, so he's gonna, he's gonna do some, uh, toe-to-toe -to -toe with, uh, Morgan with a pistol. What's your AC? 16. He's gonna go after the captain. He's gonna shoot the captain! He misses completely. He misses, whizzes it past your head. <sighs> captain Morgan assumes the pose, and bullet whizzes right under his knee. Uh... This guy is going to come up to you. He can't reach you, so he's also going to try and shoot you with a pistol. Seven. That's not hitting. Nope. This guy takes a step back right next to the captain. Mm. Places a hand on him. Oh, God. Kick his ass. <laughs> Lay on demon hands. No, he's going to use Inflict Wounds, which acts differently to this guy. It's like, you know, like... Nah, nah, I get you. Putting Necrotics on top of a skeleton only heals it. Right. Healed for 15 HP. And we're back up the list. All right. Now it's Meech's turn. Oh, by the way, he's able to proc his 75 again. Oh, so like if we hit that milestone a second we time? We hit that milestone, it proxies. So it's, so it's at every milestone, uh, not so much the amount? Yeah. Yep. Just okay. every hard 24 HP gone. Every it hard procs. 25. 25. It procs. If, if he's prone, it only shoots onto the ground then, essentially. What do you mean prone? Like prone when someone's knocked Is he? If, yeah. he's, if he's shooting it in a cone, if we flank him, like... It doesn't hit. If, if, we shoot, if he's shooting it in a cone, that means he has no control over where it fires. Hmm. So if he's knocked down to his hands and knees, essentially, it's just going to shoot into the into the deck. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> okay, just want to make sure. I mean, technically, that was supposed to be something you discover, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I just I just f figured I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm do prone. It, but do it, do it. Activates. I'll put him back to prone now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Even if he's prone, it would activate, but it wouldn't do anything. Okay. Brr. Yeah, he just throw up on himself. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> then he has to make his own concert. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and then he keeps delivering 25 damage to himself, and he keeps proccing it, and he keeps throwing up. It's, like, it's, like, it's like when Yuki duels against that one, the mine guy. Yep. You know, oh, no, I have to keep drawing my cards. Nick, Nick you discovered what the actual exploit was. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was actually thinking about that when I was oh. thinking about this dude, so... Don't worry, don't worry. I got, I, I got something. I do too. Yeah, you figured out the exploit. All right, Micha. Gonna Micha. Micha, holy shit! She looks over at Valtara. Well, actually, no. This guy's in front of her. She can't attack, so she's going to instead hit this guy in the face with her sap, which is the little bludgeoning thing. The nat twenty. Holy shit! Nice. Yikes. Yeah. All right, so. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? Because Sap has a proc, if you knock an opponent down to a certain amount of HP and then hit them with the Sap one more time successfully, it knocks them unconscious. That's amazing. Jeez. So, more. By one HP, she knocked him unconscious. That's awesome. She just like took the Sap and just BAM! <laughs> Okay. Oh. That's my purse. I don't know I you. Don't know you. <laughs> so this guy is knocked on. Con oh wait, I just put that on Micha. Whoops. Micha this guy. This guy is knocked on the floor and considered out of combat unless someone wants to coup de gras the boy. Nah. We. Wake's focusing on Fat Man right now. The big guy. The big guy. Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> oh lord. So Micha, where are you? Okay, so she's gonna. She can't do anything this action right now, but she goes over to Valtara like, okay, you, need, looking at you need attention immediately. She can't do anything just yet. The next, she, she could have been able to do something if she didn't attack the dude, but that's life. <laughs> that's what all the people <laughs> say. All right, now it's Valtara's turn. Still just shaking in a fetal position. I don't want the blood anymore, mommy. <laughs> More blood. Blood. She's gonna she's gonna pop healing elixir on herself and try to get the fuck away from this boy. She's gonna move. Oh god, I put her on right top. under me. Yeah, right. I put her on my under big cap will just protect hug, just you. Hugs you. Mm. I will protect you, big dino. There, there. She's gonna go right here since Meech is kind of there to try to help. She's going to instead move back a little bit, and she's gonna pop healing elixir on herself. Nice for. 54 plus her wisdom for nine points of HP. She is not dying anymore. She's she's she's, Yay. she's a little above it. She's she'll be okay. She's at 21 out of 42 right now. Uh oh wait no I'm sorry that means she's at 16 out of 42. Next is Nick. All right, uh, wake is going to channel his chakras and summon some water forth, slip it around his foot, and try to pull him onto his ass. He needs to make a dex save. That's good, because his dex is his worst stat. I figured. He was very fat. He's a very fat boy. Oh. Yeah! 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 That, oh. does, that does not beat my spell save DC of 14. Uh, he falls onto his ass and immediately takes 3d10. <laughs> Nine. You just McAllister at him super 14. hard. 14. <laughs> Ezra would be and, proud. And uh, that's 20 that. damage as he slams onto his ass and hopefully hitting the guy next to him. But, Whoa. I won't call for that. So, Unfortunately, he does not do that. That's fine, but he's still on his ass looking straight up at the sky, reprocking what I believe is yep. his vomit, <laughs> is his gag How reflex. Damage it again? I'm sorry. Uh, 20 damage as he as I basically rip his leg out from under him. Procs it twice. <laughs> How's that even possible? Got yeah. to 100. 75 to 100. But if it did, how much damage did it do? I only did 20. Did you, so. Does it proc twice at 100? Yep. But it's oh. every it's every 20 something. Oh, no, it proc twice uh, okay. at 100. It's, it's I'm not going to argue. Because the first one's going to well, attack. He's going to throw him. Him. He's throwing up on himself, and it does damage to him. That, oh. oh, that makes sense. The round over. This is wonderful. That was an exploit. There's your exploit. Thank there you. There you go. So immediately he out of Oh, he fails his own fucking roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The fish man. <laughs> now for the. And he fails his, he fails his second roll. So. Meanwhile, that is, his friend next to him is like. 
Uh, oh, fucking man. blood geysers. This fucking is crap. 12d6 of damage. <laughs> at full. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think that'll proc him a sec. I think that might proc him a <laughs> third yeah, time. Yeah, I feel like we've set him into a cycle now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you just become a fucking it's, vomit. It's just waste watching. It's not stopping. <laughs> He's still, still too like fast. a volcano. The blood cano. Well, he still has his second action to use, too, once this is done. Uh, he procs it twice again. <laughs> <laughs> yes! At first, I would be mad because he has so much health, but I think it's because you knew this would eventually yes. happen. So you're like, I'm just going to let him torture himself for a while. This wasn't health you were ever going to Does be taking away. Does everyone to watch this? My alternate ability was just going to be pull him so that the chains kept yanking yeah, that out was, of him. Yeah, that's but... what I was going to do, but this makes a lot more sense. Pull him. Yes, One he's more. vomiting on his... No! Ah! <laughs> just, 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 comes in. Just, that guy sucked. <laughs> Just goes up. I'm taking the eye. <laughs> oh yeah, the eye's being disintegrated now under one a more time. Jesus. <laughs> Five frogs. Yeah. He has so much fucking health. Oh my god. I, dude. That's crazy. It's a legendary. Wait till, I, wait till yeah. I tell you at the end of this session how much HP he actually had. <laughs> so far, I'm guessing it's like since we're proccing this so many times, it's close to 200. 400. Mm -mm. Oh no, no, you'll find out. Jesus. You'll find out. This is a 1k health he enemy. Does, he does not proc it a second time, but he does take. If I'm getting my math correctly, and I believe I am. Round up. He took 168 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> and he's still plus, kicking? Like, plus, I mean, I know he's not. He's, he's halved. <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus, plus the damage I did to him, though. Yep. Plus, how much was the damage you did to him again? Uh, I did 20. <laughs> yeah, well, that was with the 20, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, noticing that he's still not dead, Wake's going up, and he's going to stab him in the anus with his spear as he's on the ground. Roll the hit with advantage. Mm. Uh, you have a bonus attack, too, by the way. I know. That's, this is what I'm using right now, because I just used my normal action. <laughs> so, this is so uh, I don't think I'm going to need the advantage, but unless I get the crit, which I fucking did. Yeah! Roll the Kill hit. this motherfucker! Are you shitting me? Roll the hit. I did roll the hit. No, I got a 20. Damage, damage. I'm sorry. Natural 20, baby. All right, that's... I can't fucking believe this shit. Uh, that's 15 plus... That's 19, 20 damage with the spear. He procs it again. Ah! Stand back! Because I also got a bonus melee yeah, action that, that I can that deliver. Time I need, this time I need you to roll a con. You're in the splash zone. Is his friend doing this? Yes. Okay, so his friend should be melted by now. <laughs> Oh god, it's like the melted man in um Yeah, you kinda like look you kinda like look up and you go, wait, where's his healer? It's gone. Yeah, it's just the arm sitting there. Da -na -na -na. Can't save. That is a nineteen. You are taking half damage. Okay, still still I'm still okay. Although if this if he keeps procking it. He, he's not going to be able to proc with the numbers I, numbers I just rolled. He's not procking it a second time. Well, I have an additional attack. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. You can actually... You I can, will sacrifice myself to put this motherfucker down. I'm going to... You can you, you can use that thing to also just... 13 I, at, This is my th bonus. 13 rounded up. Half. Okay, so that's... Okay, that's, that's better than before. I was getting ready to roll off another 10 health. This has been fun. I'm, we're having a good time with this fight. I'm so happy you guys found the exploit. All right, Wake is now going to kick him in the dick. <laughs> Kick him square in the taint! Uh, that is a modified 20 to hit. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Why sure. Not? Just keep <laughs> kicking him while he's down. Uh, 10 damage with that. That'll proc him again. Ah, fuck! <laughs> See, this is the, one of the bigger reasons why I'm just like, mm, melee boys are going to have fun with this, this guy. This is the worst! Oh! There's a 17. That will not make it. But it's made it every time so far. Oh wait, the, oh you're right, you're right. Fuck, God, math, math, it's okay, math, crazy numbers. Math. I, numbers. Know, I know you want Wake to die, but don't worry. <laughs> if he keeps procking, it's gonna happen Mike anyway. Has 18. <laughs> no, I, for, I forgot about the plus two AC thing because yeah. of your haste. God bless. Well, no, me. no, this isn't dexterity. This is your con these save, are con saves. Con save. Like I, I rolled a seventeen. I'm going there. to let this stay. Right. I'm going to let this stay. I apologize. I'm, I'm probably I'm probably close to unconsciousness anyway. I'm just trying to put this boy down. Yeah. Well, I'll let you know what happens afterwards, because you did pretty fucking spectacular. Kick him in the dick! Yeah. Ah! You and kicked him I... in the dick, he has one final hurrah on him. Ah! Quick hit him with a stunner. 
All right. All right. So how much uh, did I take this time? Not a lot, actually. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I rolled eight. No, okay, eight. so I only take four. You only take four. All right. With uh, Wake's last ounce of energy in his haste, uh, is this thing still alive? That's what I was going to get to after Okay, this. cool. Because I still have one more attack, if that's the <laughs> case. <laughs> haste, baby! Fucking jeez. Yeah, All haste right. just really, really you fun. You kicked him so hard in the dick. <laughs> Yeah, I love how this starts. Yeah, you kicked him so hard in the dick, he kind of like like lurches up, like you see his body go. Whoop, whoop. His throw up projects him up. He starts hovering over the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Tokyo Gore Police. <laughs> and now here's the real boss. As the centipede comes out of his eye and is holding him up. The centipede. The centipede. <laughs> Does that destroy the eye? Yep. Oh, Sorry. Oh no. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> AJ just jumps off the boat. Yeet! <laughs> then, uh, I will stab the centipede. Okay. I stab... What? Is the centipede uh, read, or is it considered a different enemy than the... It is considered a different enemy. Ah, oh, oh, come on. All right, well... Guys, listen, I gave you a monster no, that, don't had worry a, about that had a constant lose condition. Tw 21 to hit the centipede. Okay, that will hit. Okay. And that is... Does it have a giant eye? That's a... Yes, actually. That's a... It's one compound eye, so technically he's a Eight damage. Eight damage to the centipede. Eight damage, okay. As you do so, when you hit the centipede, you actually watch as the thing that's this thing is holding. It's like a giant morning star that's the fuck that used to be the Cyclops whipping. Wham, wham, wham. Yeah, that's pretty Wake's just watching in slow motion. This is weird. Bloodborne 2 is wild, guys. I'm not going to lie. Some really uh, weird enemy. I thought it was nuts that they added ship combat, but here we are. <laughs> All right. Go hello, go hello. All right, Bloodborne we are now up to Grant's flag. turn. <laughs> Grant! All right. You know, that looks like some crazy stuff going on with that Cyclops over there. <laughs> but hey, someone could just coup de gras this guy and make sure he never comes back, and I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> just roll the hit with advantage at that point, then. Just steps on him. Just elbow drop. Well, with his club, he could just Negan him. Is Negan uh, a good guy? I thought he killed everybody. Oh, that's, a, that's a 19. That hits. All right. <laughs> Hit with critical attack. Uh, crit with critical damage. Ed, Ed and Eddie noises into. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm so happy. Oh, good. Max damage. Uh, that's going to be 12. You step on him. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> That's a good crunchy boy. So he's just out? He's out. Hey. He's, got, he's got extra crunch. Yeah, the ads weren't really all that powerful. I had a feeling with how strong this boss seems. Yeah. Wait, just really quickly. Hey, guys, what's going on over here? What is this thing? What's happening? Why are you all moving so slow? What is happening? <laughs> uh, next is uh, Brian. Okay. Don't see him, y'all. Is he... Well, here's the thing. Since... Are the chains still in effect? Yes. Yes? Hmm. Are they in the centipede or the... That's no, they're, the, they're, they're the on meat the, flail. They're on the meat flail. They're on the meat flail. Mm. So they're getting, like, thrashed about. Well, wait, if it's swinging like a morning star, no, is but that moving? It, it's moving on the square. Oh, okay. That's how to balance it, because if it was just any kind of movement, that'd be fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be broken. Again, again it's, one of, it's one of these. <laughs> it's a barbarian die. <laughs> Yeah. So, no. Um, the rarest die. Yeah, the rarest die for damage type for players. Um, if that's the case. Bar barbarian. Ba ba barbarian. barbarian. Okay, I think I'm just, honestly. I, <sighs> I still got them two bros over there. Yeah, but. Mm. Gun them down or something. Or we can just deal with this centipede. That I was going to say, I, I might just want to deal with, this, with, the, with the, the meat weasel over here. Because <laughs> I don't disagree because I feel like I'm in danger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah, you got haste, baby. If Chromagill wasn't slow, I would have made my effort yeah. to just so, make my way okay, to Okay, so you, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break concentration because, unfortunately, I have to concentrate for that. And I'm going to use... I'm gonna say I feel like the Cyclops is effectively dead, and it's really just the the centipede. It's now we're considered a weapon now. at this point. Yeah. Yes. yeah, the Cyclops is a weapon now. Yes, and I think I'm just gonna do um, one more chromatic round, choosing lightning as the damage type. Okay. Let me just mark that down. Who's this being aimed at? The the 
Meat Weasel. Okay, Centipede. Centipede. I, I'm just gonna call him Meat Weasel. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. It's the bug thing. Shit, that is a nine. That will not hit. That will not hit, but I do have an extra attack. I'll just do it again. So that bullet whizzed. It's like a, just like a ball of lightning flies past. Wake. Yeah. What the hell? Nine plus six. That's a fourteen. That will that, hit. That will hit. Oh, nice. So let me just mark this down to two bullets. Wake turns to look at the thing. What the? Another one flies behind his head, hits the thing behind him. Oh. oh. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. This is Seven. With haste, like bullets. Like they so still move fast. 13 but like, like lightning you damage. Can see it. All right, <laughs> nice. Can follow the trail. 13 though. lightning damage. That lightning sparks up all the way to the body of the dead Cyclops. <laughs> A good world conductor. Is, the world is so beautiful in slow the motion. World is <laughs> yeah, you're just seeing like Bam. these trails of electricity like moving up the centipede. Wow. All right, it's the, it's the speed force. Uh, next is uh, Taka. Yeah, I'm blinking out. I activate blink. Where do you go? I mean, uh, okay, I'm going to talk about blink real fast here. Pretty sure blink, you stay in position and you just no, travel you to the ethereal realm, right? Roll a d20 at the end of each of your turns for the duration of the spell. On roll of 11 or higher, you vanish from your current plane of existence and appear on the ethereal plane. The spell fails and the cast is wasted if you were already in that space. At the start of your next turn, when the spell... Uh, how does this work exactly? I, Basically, I... your body is going to cease to exist from that position until you fail to not stay just, in the ethereal realm. I, otherwise, I'm just going to waste my whole turn just engaging because like, I can't. I've got four HP here, so mm. I'm pretty much at a bad no, spot. No, that's fine. When you blink, uh, so AJ disappears. <laughs> Funk. Uh, you turn, and you actually see there are two people standing where Morgan used to be. It's a giant ogre and a human. The human looks like he's on fire and clawing at the air, while the ogre is sitting there looking down, dejected, and like just very upset with himself. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Meet the spirits of hate and shame. That's All right, the, that's and then the... also floating around around them is now a third soul of a sobbing woman that's like kind of wisping all over the place. So yeah, meet the Phoenix Squadron, y'all. That's weird. All right, <laughs> AJ, uh, can, can I move on in the ethereal form? Essentially, you'll yes. have to. You'll uh, when you pop back though, you have to be back at that in space the same that you spot. started. And yeah. I can't cast anything in this dimension, essentially? Nope. Nope. You're essentially just uh, evacuating from combat You removed yourself out of bit. combat for this turn. Yeah, pretty much. That's what I've had to do. Funk. I'm gone. So that's it, really, for me. I got just nothing else. Just two confused <laughs> henchmen where, standing where AJ nope. used to be. Yeah. Yeah, they can't even attack of opportunity you, so you're out. Okay, good. That's how I got bailed myself out of that situation. All right, <laughs> now we're back up to Centipede's turn. Uh, Wake, you get an attack of opportunity as the centipede lurches down and jumps into the air. What the fuck? It's moving away from you. It's trying. Uh, that is a... Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's gotta do it. That's a 27 to hit. That will hit. No, you fucking... Wait, no, I'm really fast. No, you fucking don't! Uh, that is a 13. 13 damage. Max oh, okay. Damage. We are now at 46 damage for this thing. Yikes. He lurches and jumps right here. Pork, look out behind you! What? <laughs> oh! I need you to roll it's me a, a dexterity save to jump out of the way. Oh, uh, boy. Well, okay. Dex save. Oh, almost dropped. Wait, out. blink. Is that concentration? No. Are you sure? Yeah. It's not, it doesn't say concentration. Huh. Okay. Oh. 22. 22? Yep. You cool. dodge out of the way completely. <laughs> now, for everyone who's in a 20-foot radius. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, including his own man. Yeah, he's going to hit his own guys. Am I within 20 feet of him? Voltara is. Voltara and Meech are. Oh, for fuck's oh, sake. Oh, no. Girls, get out of there. All right. Groma just keeps walking right by the danger and seeing all of his friends get hurt. Nine plus. Yeah, I think I'm just in 20. 15 on that first hit. That will not... That will hit both of them. What's it firing? It's it's flailing the body. Oh. Yeah, just swinging it. Doesn't, so, it doesn't hit wake. Just whoa! You, so we, you, this thing just spin to win with the body. 
So pretty much everyone in that race took 15, regardless. Well, no, no, I not that 15 was damage. Hit. That was two, oh, hit. two hit. Now let me roll oh, for thank God. henchmen. Wait, just Dark Souls rolls uh, over the henchmen, top of the body. Henchmen's Whoa. getting hit. God bless this breastplate. What is oh. your AC? 16. 16? Yeah, you. it dodges you. I was just like, huh. I mean, you you dodge it. Yeah, I was just like. So henchmen, Micha, and Voltar are taking hits for 2d12. Jesus. Okay, they're not... Jesus. They're getting me. <laughs> getting lit up. So They're dying. Just, so, so, Voltara is now paced. So this is just the barbarian's whirlwind. <laughs> one, two, three, yeah, four, that's five. Plus. At, yeah, at. Uh, well, he rolled a one and a two, but he gets a plus five on top of it so because of eight. strength. So eight. <gasps> Luckily, those are really. Ah! Uh, Voltara was cut down to eight HP. Okay. And Micha is down to two. I'm glad I healed her initially. Oh, I guess. we're gonna She'd need definitely a not be this. standing if I had. Well, we have a boat. Well, yeah. Uh, with boat. there is one thing you guys uh, have. To, there is something you guys have overlooked as well because that's unfortunately part of the map issue. Mm -hmm. There's a big just, table behind me. Well, Same. no, 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 not the table. Remember the the piping in the middle in the front. That's the magical radiation piping. That's the vorpal energy. Yeah. Uh, but Wake never found a way to weaponize it. Uh, da, 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 da. And henchman guy is taking. Okay, henchman guy's dead. All right. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah, henchman guy's just fucking paced. He got knocked off the ship. <laughs> Kobe. Brip. Yeet. This is how they treat their friends. Looks and at the chained up crewmen behind us. This is the crowd you run with. <laughs> and now we're, below we're, just, we're just disappointed, if anything. <laughs> All right, well, they don't know where the fuck AJ went, so this guy's going to walk on over to Chromagill. Hey, what's up? Is that, a, hey, Chip. is that initiated attack of opportunity for him walking right up to me? No. Nah. Nah. He's engaging He has you. to walk away from you for that to oh, happen. Okay, yeah. You Sorry, to it's leave your been space. a second since I've been in combat close enough to worry about it. <laughs> he will... Hit you with a seven. Does that break AC? Nope. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> he will try. Uh, and this guy will try to gang up on you. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Stepping over standing on his corpse. Comes at, you, comes at you with a with a sword. Or ah, uh, twenty one. That's gonna get me. That's gonna hit you. Ow, my mold. Oh, my flaps. For ten points of damage, you take slashing. All right. Well. Uh, and now we are back up the list. That gets rid of the 10 temporary HP I got from something earlier. <laughs> Yay! Oh, no, come back. Come back. Come back, paper. Uh, da, 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 da. Micha. What is today? She's going to heal herself. Yeah, that's fair. Lay on hands. No, uh, physicians actually get a... Uh, plague doctors get a better benefit. They use healing kits... And as many times as they use healing kits on their turn, it adds an extra dice roll. Hmm. And because of her level, her healing dice roll gets a plus 10, is a d10. Mm. That's nice. And she has two healing kits. And this is why you wanted a doctor on the team, because... She healed for 38 HP. Fuck. This is why you want a doctor on the team. So they can heal themselves selfishly. Yes. <laughs> selfishly? She had 2 HP. She injects herself. And she has done little so far. She inje injects herself with us. She is back up the to healing. full. I was going to say something else. And she will use her other <laughs> action, instead of moving, to heal Valtara. All right. That's less selfish. Her, both of them are on the verge of death. They need it. I don't want to say how much HP Wake has. <laughs> Just don't let anyone know. Wake says, I'm moving so fucking fast. I feel like my heart's going to explode. Is that normal? <laughs> he, I gave, AJ gave him five Red Bull, five, <laughs> ten, five hour energies. Oh, God. He gave him 25 like hours of consecutive hours oh of God. energy. No, it's he's five the, hours he's of he's turbo the, energy. He's the shark hand puppet that drank all the five hour energy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valtara He's is, fly on his has been coffee. patched up yeah, to almost her full. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, me, yeah, dude. Plague doctors are no fucking joke when it comes to healing. Good to know. Uh, next is Nick. 
Oh boy. I need healing. <laughs> need healing. All right. Um, so Wake is going to do a bit of a flourish. He is going to use his move. Oh, hold on. That's a measuring tool. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I'm going to be running and hucking a couple of knives at uh, the... Centipede or the boy? Yeah, the centipede. And I'm going to be running over to this guy so I can attack him. Okay. So, in transit, I'm throwing knives. With a... That is a modified 20 to hit with the first one. That will hit. And a... 19 to hit with the second one. That will hit. All right, cool. Uh, now, they're electric. Are they just doing their base damage, but it's electric now? Or yes. what's the... Okay. That's how that works. Okay. Yo, monk dice. Uh, that is... Uh, eight damage for the first one, electric. And... Seven damage for the second one. All right. How do you want to flavor it dying? All right. So, basically, I'm just running... <laughs> Throw one knife, it, con- it like it connects it and like pins its pincers to the ground. Second knife severs the head. The body, like a Chidori fucking lightning blade. The body is the only thing now that it's able to possibly move mm. as it's flailing back and forth, back and forth. Morgan, deck save. Oh boy. Sorry, Morgan. Fifteen. Me me. Okay, so it's about to land on you. You watch, you watch in slow-mo as the body begins to move off the rest of the centipede and over the ship. I saw this movie once. <laughs> the uh... The centipede has a cyclops eye. Oh, just so it doesn't have the mace anymore? Yeah. Okay. The body the body is gone. The but, the he- but, the... But, the, but the but the rest of the centipede's flailing about and then death curls and f- curls up on the floor. But it also has a cyclopean eye on the middle of it. <laughs> So he's dead. Yeah. All right. And meanwhile, with Wake's really fast movement speed, he is going to tackle this other son of a bitch and try to drag him off the ship with him. Oh man. Oh, yeah. Did Irish whip him off the side of the? I'm spearing him off the boat. My God. My God. That's Roll a... athletics check. Athletics check to pull this motherfucker down with me. That is a modified twenty. Super you punch you, you fucking just like just bow your head right into his gut and knock him off with you. Spear! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Minecraft. Oh. Minecraft. Ooh. 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 Splash. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Now I'm dragging him below water so I can finally test out my gauntlets. Okay. <laughs> but that'll be next turn. Welcome next, to my. Next uh, is can, I, can I do unarmed? Uh, can I? Uh, wait, no. That was a grapple. So no, a grapple, no unarmed so damage. No. Okay. Grant. Uh. The guy who hit me and actually managed to do damage. It's is, in front of you. Is in front of me? Okay, cool. Uh, Whoop his ass. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swing on him with my big old club, which this is its first fight. Uh, the legendary, like, wooden club or whatever that I got, or not legendary, but like the, like the, magic, the, one. the magic one that I got, uh, and I told them I would name it after I used it, so I'm going to have to come up with something before the end of this. Cyclops uh, beater. But I swing it at this guy for, what's that? What's that thing? Is that an 18? That looks like an 18 to me. It is. An 18. Okay. That so, hits. Cool. Well, uh, uh, it would also get a bonus, but hey, it's already hitting. That works out. Um, and that does uh, five or six damage. Plus your strength? Uh, that's that's with it. It was a oh, okay. pretty low damage roll. Mm-hmm. Six. Okay. So you, you club him upside the head for six points of damage. Cool. I use extra attack if he's not dead. Yep. He's not dead. That's a 19 to hit. That hits. Do this again. Where's that D8? There it is. Uh, f- five. All right. He's not looking too good, but he's still up. Still up. He's going right. to proc hellish rebuke on you. Oh, yep. What are you doing to me? What's your dexterity? Roll a dexterity save. Uh, twelve. Twelve. You're taking fire damage. Hot, 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 hot. I think that's bad for a mushroom. I don't know, though. Cold damage would be worse. Mm. Salt damage. Seven Ooh. points of fire damage. Seven? Oh, no. Olive oil cooking in a pan damage. <laughs> <laughs> He's being sautéed. It's fucking raw. All right, next is uh, Brian. 
Okay. Well, now that that giant centipede is now sitting in front of you. All right. Uh, let me see, meow. Which one is still up? Uh, which one is the one that's a, that just hit Chrome? With all the way to the left. All the way to the left? To his left? No, to, uh, all the way here. Just the left side yeah. of the map guy. That, that guy right there, yeah. That one. Okay. This guy. In direct line of fire. In direct you. line of fire. Mm. Uh, let me, where's that measurement? Let me just see what's my... Did, Again, did, sorry, gentlemen, that this went a little No, that's fine. No worries. All right. Just, damn it, I've always got to tap the thing. I'm just going to run at him and beat the hell out of him with a Necro Star. Okay, go hit him. This man running with... Oh, <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, God, a 24. The... That hits. Fuck, yeah, over your head. Just... So it's a D8 and a D4. That's seven damage. How do you want to kill him? <laughs> How do you Fucking want this man to die? <laughs> Just home run his head off his shoulders. Okay. <laughs> Just, Just, hear a, <laughs> Just hear a splash in the distance. Hold up. <laughs> you win. You win. You win. Home run. Perfect. Right. What else do you want to do? Um, let's see, and then, uh, and I already moved, and that guy still, so I'm just gonna shoot the other guy with my pistol. Okay. Where his head once was, now sits a gun. Does a seven Excuse me, I, I need to spot. Just right on top Don't of the neck oh, move. <laughs> does a 17 hit? Yes, it does. Okay, and then that is just a D6 plus three. Five damage. Okay. Take a nice chunk of flesh out of his shoulder. Next is uh, Taka. Whoop, I come out of blink. Funk. Ah, perfect. I just turn. And I just turn pretty much. And I do. I cast at the guy uh, who's in combat with Chromagill a firebolt. Roll the hit. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. 1d20 plus 6. 1d20 plus 6. Natural one. But you do have multiple bolts, at least. I'm just pretty sure that's how firebolt works at higher levels. All right, need to roll a 1d100. <laughs> All right. It's a critical fail here. Let's see what happens. Okay, I need you to roll me a 1d4. <laughs> okay, then. Is this the 1d4? Yep. yep. It's yep. the pyramid. It's a two. 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 Uh, go ahead and roll your. Uh, well, go ahead and roll your damage as the fireball hits Chromagill. Oh man. Oh man, that's too. It's it's. it's you know what? After how many times I fucking shot Wake, it's about time someone else's errant projectile comes to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got one for you. Here you go. It's they're two. They're it, kind of a weird shape. It's two d tens. It's hard for me to describe their shape. Two. And the zero would zero. be ten. That's a ten. Oh, yeah. 12. twelve damage. <laughs> ah! Whoosh. Ah! My bad. Noisy elf. I thought we were friends. Well, we were, we're acquaintances more than anything. But my bad. Uh, I now with everything, I, with everything. I just I now beeline it for that dead butt thing's eye. You got this, guys. I run as fast as I can. Can I make it to it in one turn? Uh, let me check. What's your speed? Uh, thirty. I got the average 30. thirty. I got the you average. should be able to you can get like right there. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you, you should be able to get to right. I up like to it. run and I do like. A no, loop. you're you're just you, you just make it. Yeah, right in front of it. I, I run and do what I can only describe as a loop on the third style dive into it. Like, ooh, <laughs> jump into the body. Uh, you're gonna have to control him, Zeta. Yeah, yeah, I got him. And I just pull out one of my knives and like, give me your eyes. Roll, su roll survival. <laughs> no, very carefully. Roll survival. Oh no, no. You, got, you still gotta roll for it to, to cut it out. Oh, come on! Yes! It was a nat one! Ah! Uh, <laughs> no! You best bet I roll high. I'm just gonna get it real quick. One, two, ship shakes. All of a sudden. <laughs> okay, so I need you to roll me a 1d4 one more time. <laughs> Three! All right, that's an odd. You stab yourself with the foot. The ship is a rockin'. Ah! Roll damage. Oh no! What? Knife is a D4. a D4. Just roll the D4 again. Plus your dex. <laughs> Three. So you have one HP left. 
Ah! You're bleeding. Ah! Oh, no. I just call, I call up the thing. Ah! Give me Mitch your go. eye. <laughs> you're trying to peel it out with your fingers. <laughs> Mitra <Mitch laughs> comes up and is just like, don't worry, I'm a doctor. I'll help you. Good, the eye's right there. Just pull it out for me. Get the that's eye. All, that's all I need. No, guard, give me. <laughs> what? It's you so can, mad. You, you can fucking feel your uh, your checklist of things like humming as if it's like it, it counts. It still counts. You just, just gotta just get it now. It. I just, uh, I just slide my fingers in. Uh, using my hands to cut the tendons. Uh, just pulling. Well, right now you gotta get the knife out of your out of your foot. I, th I think he's actually more pre. I think he would actually no, care I'm about. No, I'm leaving the knife in. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's your turn then. We are back up the list. Now it's uh, boy one no, next, the next to Chromagill. Chromagill, the guy's gonna come at you with a sword. All right, it's good. He'll try. I'm still shrugging off the bullet that missed. Or the 15, fireball. 15, H, uh, 15 to hit you. Oh, that matches. Matches? Nah, that sucks. <laughs> Too bad. For 11 points of damage. Mm. Boy. Boy. That hurt. Boy. He's going to use a second attack since he didn't use it to get up to you. Oh, no. Roll the hit. And, oh, that's going to hit. That's a fucking 21. Yep. That'll get me. Nine points of damage. That's the fuck. Man! Chromagill only really dealt with the fucking ads, and I'm hurt. You said that was nine? Yeah. Okay. Ads have little HP, but high attack. Fun. Uh, next is the one you're facing with right now as you both yep. careen into the water. He's currently grappled with me as I'm dragging him below Roll water. me another athletics check. All right. As he's trying to break out. Oh. Well, no, because think of it this way. You're, you're feather falling at this point. You're not going to take this damage. If you don't let go of him at the right moment, he's going to not take the bludgeoning, the falling damage with you. Oh, I thought we were in the water. No, uh, not yet. You're okay, gotcha. I am? Yeah, you feather fall, dude. Remember? It's a monk. Oh, yeah, I'm not using that ability. I'm, 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 I'm diving into the water. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I, you activated feather fall. No, no, no. I'm spearing him into the water. Oh, okay, yeah. So athletics anyway. Go for it. All right, athletics anyway is a modified 20. 16 on the dirt. Uh, you both survived the uh, the crash into the water. I would hope so. I'm a goddamn with, with, merman. With no, with no damage taken. Gotcha. Sploosh. So now you are in the water. It is his turn. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's going to have to roll with disadvantage to attack you. He's going to have to get out of my grapple, too. Yeah. Uh, he failed. <laughs> so now he's underwater with you. Uh, and that is back up the list. So now it's... <laughs> <laughs> now it's Meech's turn. Oh, Meech, you got it. Meech just looks, just looks down at you. <laughs> Just yeah, uh, AJ just, just like just yeah. cry, just crying as he's losing blood out of his face. Ah, I just want the eye. Ah, it's like, that it's that really up, sad zombie from the first episode of Walking Dead. Like, are you do you want the eye or do you want to do you want to feel better? Yes, one or the other. <laughs> the eye will make me feel better. The head is severed. You can just take the whole. She head. rolls medical <laughs> with a nat twenty. Take the eye out? Yeah. <laughs> AJ literally presses it to his face. <laughs> like, uh, Roll a con save. Uh, no! <laughs> what have you done? Oh, it's a oh! point. You're fine. <laughs> AJ's drinking the blood. Uh, <laughs> just licking it. And AJ puts it in the bag and... The, yep, the check mark is gone. <laughs> Down the she looks. She looks down at you, and like she's like laying down on the ground, like chest up. She just like looks at you. Oh well, I still have an extra action. <laughs> ah! Just injects it into your chest. <laughs> For twenty-two HP. Oh Jesus! Twenty-six. Ah! That's, it's like straight up that scene from <laughs> what's that? What's that one? Oh my god! Uh, uh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> okay, uh, Valtara's turn. Oh, I, th I think at this point we could just. Oh wait, no, no. She looks over at this dude over here. She's so fucking mad. She's so absolutely livid. 
she comes in charging and uses a fucking headbutt. She's like, no, fuck magic. I'm done. I, I, I'm gore. so sick of this. She's gore. <laughs> uh, the only response to gore is more gore. Thank God. What retribution, Nat 20. Yeah. She gores the guy through the chest and fucking slams her face with the guy into the deck. She goes in through the deck with the guy, pile drives him into the fucking first floor. <laughs> <laughs> Chromagon was like getting ready to line up a shot with his hammer after like just taking so much pain. He's like, all right, I guess I'll deal with. Oh, hi, Voltar. Bye, Voltar. <laughs> That's hi, bye. Yeah, that guy's dead. Well, her tail's sticking up, so she's like kicking her legs. So, like, kicking her legs and her tail. She's like, there's <laughs> a hole in the ship. Yep. Wait, just choking on dude underwater? We had a good day today. Yeah, so now what about you? Yeah, I basically I use uh, how much movement speed do you give me with haste again? Uh, you it's don't double. double. It doubles my. It doubles. I it. move at 240 in the water. <laughs> yes, you do. So I drag him down 120 feet. Uh, we know scary things live in the ocean still, yeah. right? You're leaving him there for him. You want to roll a perception check for everybody? No. <laughs> okay. I drag him down there, and I'm gonna do my hydroken to push him <laughs> even further down. Okay. This is go to a level B. What do I roll for that? You said it's athletics? Uh, athletics. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, athletics. It's his athletics for, yeah, strength save. <laughs> this poor little With guy. Disadvantage. Like, <laughs> athletics is a modified 20 again. Got a lot of 16s tonight. Yeah. Okay, so I know I, I keep saying that if, when you kill someone, you flavor it. Let me flavor it for you this time. Sure thing. I just. So you hadoken this guy down the water. Hydroken. Hydroken. <laughs> Hydro <laughs> you hydroken him all the way down into the abyss. You see a small flicker of light and a small tether that's attached to it. As a giant mouth gapes open, you see bioluminescence from the inside of a giant gulper eel's mouth and the giant fangs, probably about half the size of your of the ship that you guys were just on, <laughs> open up I love how and the guy disappears. <laughs> and seeing that, Wake used the other half of his movement speed to get the fuck back up. Yep. <laughs> well. <laughs> There's a big fucking eel down there. We did it! Combat over. Yeah! They're fucking dead, and AJ's got his eye! I have the eye! As he fades into, as he fades. And Tyler just had a heart attack and fell. <laughs> and I, <laughs> and AJ falls asleep. <sighs> Until he disappears. Just, just phases out of existence. I mean, I could fluff this, but I feel like this was a victory nonetheless for everyone. Yeah, he got his eye. <laughs> he I, got his eye. I finally figured out what my god was doing. Those fucking things are and all that's dead. And that's only a fraction of it. What if happens if you get the set? Man, if, if, if a monk can wear all of it, I'm psyched. But... Mm. But hey, there you go, gentlemen. There that, you go. Those what are all things. I, I feel like at this point, I could do fluff later. Yes. To, ex yeah. to explain what happens yeah. to AJ. And I will say, uh, perhaps next week we should do like a double long fan art thing because we've gone over by an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so as much as we'd love to sit. There's plenty of fan art to show off yeah. to, and they're really yeah. good. So yeah, mm -hmm. we should do that yeah, next we'll time. Yeah, we'll do a double fan art next time. But for right now, thanks for joining us, Taco. It's, it's been great home. having you here. I had to lie. I had to lie that I was flying home today. So keep but this what a secret. surprise. Thank you. Anyway, thank you all for joining us. We will see you guys next time at the table. Well, Later, wonders.